Yo, what up gamers? Welcome to my Silver to Diamond series, where we're starting off bullying the bliss crank a little bit. Nice one. Gonna be playing Silver Rakan into Ezreal Bliss Crank. This is a really good duo, since Rakan's ultimate is based on just literally running at people, and Silver Ult will make him run at people faster. So that's some really nice energy there. Additionally, whenever Rakan runs a W, that's a free Q for us. And then another nice piece of synergy between us. Like, actually, I think this ball in is legitimately better than Zyra Rakan. Or, uh, yeah, Zyra Rakan always has been as well. <laughs> Zyra Rakan a little bit overrated. Oh, hello. It's fine, we just need... Rakan to go on Ezreal, and this is a good trade. I'm just gonna disengage for now. Okay, we goes back in. Basically, if I disengage there, then it gives time for Rakan to just do some damage to Ezreal by himself. Hang on. Nice. Yeah, it gives Rakan some time to just uh, DPS Ezreal 1v2. Which, you know, 1v2 isn't good, but they're never going to kill Rakan, right? Because he's full HP. They haven't been focusing him. They've only been focusing me. If anybody's going to die there, it's me. So I just need to take a small break from the fight, let Rakan do his thing. Then I re-enter the fight once Ezreal is low enough that the fight isn't losable for me. We'll grab the coal and the refillable here. Coal start is actually not bad on server, but you wouldn't want to do it into a lane like this. Where, you know, you can easily get all in. You'd mainly rather do it into enchanter lanes. Especially if your lane has engaged, so they're not going to be fighting or fighting back at you too much. Mainly just running from you. Mm. Lucky cannon dying. You can't tame the desert. Throw the key at Ezreal. It's too busy trying to DPS for Khan to actually dodge it. Nice. I go where the trouble is. Oh, my bad. Damn, I could have done more there if I didn't lose vision on Tezreal. But overall, not too bad a trade. We just popped the E randomly, I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure I've ended up blocking something and giving me HP back. Oh, that's a very risky one to go for. He needs to run before he gets sucked. Okay, nice. No, so at the moment, we're just going to be slow pushing. Uh, unfortunately, Ezreal is a hard champion to bully out of farm. Or zone from farm, since he has so much range. On a little cooldown with his abilities, his Q, but... There's so much to accomplish by crashing either, especially with Rakan, who is not good at pushing under threat. All he can, I mean, he's not terrible, like, he can at least throw his Q. Once they have no minion cover and use it to do a little bit of poke and also some healing for us. But as a whole, like, he's not going to be pressuring really hard. So, in fact, now that we've just shoved this one under threat, the fact that I slow push three waves here also means that I have a lot of time to gather farm through those three waves. It means I can now base on double longsword, which is a pretty good base. Like the, probably like second best, main, like main big prospect you can get in a lane that isn't Noon Quiver. Dagger is not as important since attack speed generally isn't as good for laning as AD is. And if we were playing a ball in that could actually pressure them on the turret, then I would probably stay. I mean, Sivra's pretty decent at pressuring on the turret, right? But we're not going to be able to accomplish too much with it. Especially in these early levels where I don't have too many points in Q yet. Nice. Okay, so Ezreal's kind of in a shitty spot right now. Because... He now should be looking to match my base, but he can't really get a good base unless he shoves in a wave and crashes that and just bases while I'm clearing the wave under turret. Because as Sivir, I always have enough wave clear to just crash at a moment's notice. Oh. What? 
I need to run over here. Oh my lord, okay. Is Blitzcrank dead? He must have died. Oh no, he's actually still there. Jesus. Okay, that was not a good trade, but... Okay, we did some damage. Oh no. Wow, he actually beat them? What? Wait, I wasn't even looking. I was focused on the lost hits. I'd written him off for dead. I didn't even know what happened there. Holy crap. Nice one. Anyway, yeah. I mean, this is partially... This all happened because Ezreal just didn't want the base. Like, at some point, he just had to concede that he would have to take a bad base. And the longer he delays buying items, the more chances a fight like this happens, where they lose partially because he's just so behind in items compared to me, right? Oh, we might as well stick around for another plating. There we go. I just need to hit it once and back off. I'll go... here, I guess. There's a chance plus we'll just blindly throw a hook in that brush and cancel my base. <clears throat> Alright, we're gonna go for Berserkers here. In part to get us into lane faster. It's also just really good on Sivir. She's pretty low ranged, so she might need the movement speed to just get in range of auto attacking champions more easily, since she needs to be really close to deal damage. Movement speed helps a lot with that. Helps for cutting the Bliss Crank as well, will be useful for cutting the Lee Sin. And in general, like the new Sivir, ever since her rework, just skills really well with attack speed, because the more attack speed you have, the more times your boomerang bounces. In fact, I think I think it's not a stretch to say she probably scales better with attack speed right now than AD. Or at the very least, they're pretty similar scalings. Like in the past, Sivir would be, was a really heavily scaling AD champion, whereas now she benefits a lot from both. What is he doing? Okay. Didn't have to do much there. We just block the knock up with the spell shield. Then it doesn't matter if we get hooked or not. Because it doesn't really interrupt our DPS. Just gonna keep shoving here. I basically want to keep attracting Leeson's attention. Because I don't think we're gonna die to a gank. We're both pretty safe. I got ult if I need to escape. I'm just gonna play some vision. But by pushing, I basically base Leeson into thinking, okay, maybe I can try ganking again. Because naturally, if you're getting ganked, what you would usually do is just not push. But you can see Lisa and just still hovering bot lane. I'm just intentionally playing more aggressively than I need to. Oh, that's... I mean, that's... That is... No, far too aggressive, buddy. We're gonna use ult to try and help him escape. Oh, my bad. I shouldn't have been hit by that. Do I need to flash? No. Okay, that was ridiculous. <laughs> I was trying to waste the Lisa's time to actually give him a good gank. I shouldn't have had to use ult there unless Leeson forced really hard. Shouldn't have to blow my ult to escape because my support forced really hard. Okay, Blitzcrank basically has no tools to damage me right now, so we can just go... really aggressive right now. Now we just back off. The moment, uh, nice. <laughs> the moment Blitz has no hook, the only way he can actually hit you is by walking to melee range. And you know we have Berserker, so we know we can't really be caught up to by Blitz crank at the moment. If I use Ghost, I might be able to kill him, but I'm not even sure about that. So I'd rather not bother. Okay, now that we're level 7, uh, what I typically like to do on Sivir is 3 points in Q into Dummy Max. I haven't actually played Sivir in a long time, so I don't know if maybe they've nerfed it. I doubt it, though. This should still be good. I did this on pre-work Sivir as well. There's W is not, like, the best tool for laning. Q is a lot better. But we're pretty late into laning phase to the point where, um... It probably starts to be more beneficial, and having W Max by level 10 will definitely be more useful than having Q Max by level 10. And the thing about W is that it skills a lot better with items than Q does. But, I mean, both skill with AD, both skill with crit. But W is the only one that skills with attack speed, and mainly it just does a lot more damage uh, with crit even than Q does, despite Q having a crit scaling. Let's 
Straight up maxing W is also not too terrible, but it is just straight up worse than Q max. It's definitely better than it used to be before the server rework ages ago, but still not as good as Q max. You'll want to have those early points in Q just to try and get a lead in lane. Nice one. Okay, so we don't currently know where Leeson is. So we'll want to play a little bit on the safer side. Like, I'm, they kind of want to ward, but... Warding is risky. Oh, yeah, there he is. Is he actually gonna live? Oh man, I should have uh, used my ult to speed him up. Okay, we're gonna win this anyway. Should have ghosted? Okay, I did it in time anyway. Should have spell shit of that, my bad. Nice, good shit. Oh, well played, guys. Oh, hello, lad. I don't have spell shield, so I'd really rather not mess with him. He could actually one-shot me if he's got ult. Yeah, he had ult up. So despite him also being low, like, he can always burst us harder than we burst him, so we just stay away from him. Damn it. Oh! Hoo -hoo. That was a close one. Yeah, I can stick around for one more wave. Despite it being a kind of wave, since server's wave course is so crazy. No, we don't want to fight here. We just want a base. And this will give me enough for Kraken Slayer, as well as... Another Quick Cloak. And this is the point where W... The points in W... Like, so far, these points we've put in W, right? They're actually not benefiting us as much as... More points in Q would have, right? Well, I, I say these points. It's literally one extra point that uh, we wouldn't have usually done if we were maxing Q. But, now we're actually getting... Now that we got these items, we, got, we went from zero crit to 35% crit. Now I would say W has actually started to uh, scale. And this is why I start maxing W right at this point. Because this is the point where it actually starts to be better anyway. Personally, I would say at least. Oh, and of course, remember that W also gives you an attack speed boost as well, so... Another big thing about uh, it scaling so well with items is that it actually makes your items scale better, even. Okay, we'll fight here, I think. It's a little bit of a risk, but yeah, if we don't get hooked, then it's all good. Man, I'm sad I didn't get Ezreal. Unless? Okay, we got him. <laughs> they were just barely not in a position where my W bounces would just destroy all three of them. But, uh... Got the job done. Nice one, Rakan. Yeah, that, that, that engagement was just too desperate, so I could tell in that kind of situation. Um, actually, I'll just recall and show you with the replay. The reason I chose to fight back here is because I have so much damage that I can tell. Uh, when they're trying to engage on us here, before they can even actually reach me, thanks to the Rakan heal, like, I can do so much damage that they've already lost the fight. Uh, on top of the fact that, you know, I want to avoid the engage. If I avoid the engage, then for sure it's just completely free. Uh, we're doing... Navori rush, aren't we? Where's Navori? Ah, uh, here. So close, but I don't want to sold around blade for it. Like, if they could engage on me instantly, we lose that fight, right? But uh, the way that happens is that... Probably, even if they manage to engage on me... I'm probably at least going to take one person down with me. Just purely because of how much damage I can deal before I go down. And that's because I have so many items that they allow me to deal that much damage that fast. We're going to go bot, actually. Or... I prefer for Salas to go bot. Oh yeah, we're running cut down, by the way, this game, since they the enemy team has two champions who just get HP naturally through their kit, so they're guaranteed to get HP no matter what. We're guaranteed to have the cutdown value. Like, for example, we didn't know if Cho'Gath was going AP or tank, but it doesn't matter. Even if he's going AP, still has a ton of HP. Same effect. 
Oh no. <laughs> Close. Oh, I got the Vlad. Let's go. There was no way to avoid that, really. Unfortunate as your flank. But yeah, my bad, maybe overstaying there. Hmm. It wasn't really that bad. It's just the fact that I got caught out without my spell shield up and then Ezreal flanked as well, when otherwise I think I would have been okay. Did have the Rakan to peel me. Okay, so next item we're gonna do Bloodthirster. Despite the um what I was saying about the W scaling to all the attack speed, I think Bloodthirster is just too good to pass up on at the moment. So we're gonna do that over a ZL item. I think we'll wanna rotate here in case there's a fight. Okay. Can't help myself but to hit this wave. Hey, yeah, I got the cannon. Actually, we can just stay top as well, but... Well, Set is leaving, I'm definitely gonna keep pushing top and maybe we can get that turret. Damn, he has a lot of wave card this Shogat, though. That did damage to me. Hmm, this is gonna be hard to do. Never mind, I think I'll push one more top wave then just rotate back mid. We're not going to be able to get this top turret without a lot more help. Okay, we actually are getting some help though. There's the E on the way. Plus it's a cannon wave, which he can't one-shot. So, yeah. Okay, we're actually going to get the turret. We do get the backup we needed. And Jogath just left anyway. But he wouldn't have been able to defend either way. Gonna have to back off here while we don't have spell shield. Oh. Oh, I can't spell shield because I'm CC'd. Damn. The moment that didn't spell shield the knockup, I was fucked. I did a lot of damage before I went down though, which leads to at least a double for set. Uh, Rakan didn't use ult. Did he not have that up? No, he added up. Hmm, it could have been a big cleanup if he'd ulted. Unfortunately, he also got knocked up at the same time as me, so he couldn't feel me from that. I'm sure he would have otherwise. I'm gonna go for the red buff. Uh, no, actually, no, 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 we're not. Drake is spawning. I'll path through the wolves on the way to Drake. Unfortunately, red buff just takes me to the opposite side of the map. If I, if, this, if I was playing blue side, then I could get red. Because it's on the way to Drake, but... On red side, it takes me completely out of the way of Drake, so we just gotta delay it. I can shove this mid wave real quick, though. There's no reason not to, like... They're not contesting Drake, so... In fact, maybe I just want to keep pushing here as well, because we know the enemy jungler's top, and we know their team, even though they're not going to steal this, is still trying to steal it anyway. Unless Shogat is going to, like, flash ult or something. But yeah, their team is not dealing with this, so I'm just going to push. My team should probably be doing Drake, but... Okay, nice. Well, that's the best of both worlds. We win a fight, we get Drake, and we get a turret. And we don't lose top to the Herald. That's just a crazy unlucky series of events for the enemy team. Well, not unlucky. Like, partially their own fault, but... 
really could not have gone any worse. Don't bother using W for this, I don't need to use that much mana. You get this in hip. Okay, blue is up. Try and avoid the pink if I can. I'm getting seen by it now, but that's fine. If the Gromp is up, I'll take that too. Nice one. Suppose I could also do... Wait, we haven't done the Drake yet. Oh my lord, okay, nice one, Silas. Suppose I'll also do... Raptors, it's far too late to try and join that Drake fight. Alright, there we go, now I can base. Could have base stages ago, obviously, but we just really pump up the farm by taking all of those jungle camps. Uh, next up, we're going to be doing a Zeal item since they don't really have any armor to penetrate. Yeah, look at this. 3,600 HP on the Cho'Gath. So if we ever start hitting him properly, the cutdown will put in a lot of work. Oh no. I need the flash. Okay, nice. I'll go live still. So I'm not gonna use my W on the wave because my do I don't live still off my W, right? So if I clear the entire wave with W, that means I'm not dealing as much damage with models as I could, which means less life stealing. There we go. Would have recovered like a third of the HP if I used W on that wave. Looking like a free Nexus turret. And a free kill on Ezreal. Jesus. Didn't realize it was that low. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna retreat now. Is the enemy red up by any chance? It is, so we still have that as well. On the way to Baron, of course. Raps is up as well. Just press that super hard. So I think at this stage of the game, I'd rather do Fire Cannon than Phantom Dancer, because we have quite a lot of AD now and quite a lot of crit chance. Every far kind of poke auto is almost guaranteed to be a crit, which gives it more value than it would have if we did that like third item. Or second item. Also makes it easier obviously to do the uh... Like if I hit any single one person when they're grouped with my W poke, um... It bounces onto the rest of them as well. Obviously, it's a little bit risky with my 500 auto attack range, but if it's instead 650 auto attack range, then there's a lot more situations where I can actually safely do that. It's just a really nice scaling out of my sliver. Get him. Oof. We'll go on Shogath. I've got E to block his Q now. Oh, <laughs> it blocked the silence instead. Oh well. Either way. This one. GG. Alright gamers, we are back for another game of Silver to Diamond. This time I'm going to be playing 
Sarah Zerath into Ashnami. This is another decent bolt lane. Not quite as good as the previous one. But uh, anytime Zerath lands a W, it's going to create an easier Q for us to land as well because of the W slow. If he ever lands an E, same deal. Just going to level W here. The V-Star seems to have a good run rate. Never understood why, but Miss will try it. Well, you can see that it does create a lot of zoning power. It just back the fuck off the wave as soon as I press W. I don't really have the range to match Ash, so I'll just W the wave. Yeah, it's pretty much guaranteed to be the zone them or land, and I guess you get a small mana refund if it lands because of presence of mind. Yeah, not bad. So we throw that a little bit to the left, so if, it wants, if she wants to dodge that, she needs to run into mod attack range. If you throw it, like, predicting a juke to the right, and then she just doesn't juke, then nothing happens. But we're always guaranteed to get some damage there. Ah, she's too far away for that one. Get it back off here. We're always guaranteed to get some damage off there if we just throw it to the left. Because either she dodges it and I hit her, or... Oh my god, dude. I'm gonna keep walking forwards, actually. I wanna keep trying to bait him. Yeah, he's going for it again. Oh, oh! He thinks he's actually gonna pull it off? We're just wasting time, though. I go really far forwards again. Now I'll back off, and now I'm gonna go really far forwards again. No, Kha'Zix, where are you going? I'm at, you could actually get me this time. Dude, look how overextended I am. And that's how you waste the enemy jungler's time. Thank you for the ward, Zerath. He might actually come again after Scuttle Crab, by the way, because Scuttle Crab is about to spawn. He's done his entire bot side, so he's either going top side or he's doing Scuttle Crab, and after Scuttle Crab, he might just gank again. So I'm gonna clear this wave. And then we need to. Uh, I was gonna say I'll ward, but it seems Zerath already placed one. He might still flank from the Triant. No, he's actually. There. Alright, I'm just gonna base now. <coughs> We got enough for coal and longsword. And it's a cannon wave. That is such perfect timing. Well, this is every, everything was so perfect here. It's a cannon wave. I got exactly the amount of gold for coal and longsword. Otherwise, it would have to be double longsword. So nice. Ooh, if Dana were paying attention to Kha'Zix's Claire, by the way, she would have invaded him because she's really far ahead. She's level 4 to level 3. So you could either take his raptors or try and kill him on red or something like that. It was much more likely to work out than a mid gank. Okay, I don't want to freeze this because the wave is far too big. So we'll just... At the very least, it out, but yeah, every minute it's a blow, so. Can't really match autos with her, so I don't even want to bother trying to get into her range. Since I won't even reach her, probably. Yeah, if we disengage as soon as she gets that one speed boost, because we'll never reach her. This time she actually walked up really close for some reason. Nice. I'll pop Ghost here and we can try and get her. She should be dead here. Oh. Oh, no way. Holy crap. Ah, damn. That sucks. Can't believe he didn't. she didn't die to the Ignite. We should be able to get two platings here. I could have maybe even just shoved this next wave as well. I guess I'll do it. We'll see if it backfires or not. Yep, 
Yeah, no, my wave core is fine. I don't even need to get that, that uh, caster minion. The wave is fixed anyway. The longer I stay there trying to kill that caster minion, though, for example, the longer it uh, shows me in lane and gives Nami time to decide to just keep following me and keep canceling my base, which is what the good support would do. Let's get Berserkers here. Once again, based on a cannon wave, so that's really good timing. <clears throat> yeah, actually, I think I'll reserve a starting queue for, like, engaged lanes, where we're likely to engage a level 1, or be engaged on level 1. I just use W for more, like, double ranged matchups, you know, you know, range supports, like, range support versus range support. Where the, the, the zoning from W would actually be nice, because all we're gonna do is trade anyway. Oh, hello. Ooh. Yep. Not bad. And now a vault. Ooh, my minions. Just use W because I don't want to walk up to her. She's too high ranged. So instead we just trade directly for W. Don't even want to use Q because it might miss. And it's a lot of mana at the moment to invest for a miss. There we go. 102 damage dealt with that one. Flash. It's crazy. Does a lot more damage now that we got with the taxi from Berserkers. Nice. The daily damage to Nami with that one. Like, Silver W is just so dumb, man. It's like laning against a permanent Brandy, you know? You now the way Brand just keeps missing his abilities on you, but then his E just splashes on you and applies his passive and you take 150 damage from him pressing E on a minion. Same with Severy. Okay, he lands the E, so you see we just throw the Q, boom, free hit. Meanwhile, we'll keep investing most of our mana just on the W, which is a lot more guaranteed to land. Or if it's not gonna land either way, then at the very least it's better with clear for less mana investment. Now we start maxing the W as well. I just see no need to throw Q right now. The lane is going great. If I keep throwing Q and keep happening to miss, that's a big mana loss that stops me from being able to pressure as effectively with W. Okay, have they base now? If they have them, we can shove one wave and then base. No, they haven't. Should probably play some deeper vision. Oh, here we go. Why isn't the ulting there? Oh, that's just six as well, I guess. She could ult them. Should have actually queued Ash then, my bad. Oh. I could, we could really do with vision, but I don't want to lay off the pressure, is the thing. The awkward thing. I kind of want to stand in front of Zerath as well, so if Ash throws ult, I can spell shield it for us. I feel like she's angling for a ultimate. That's why she's standing out, standing out of vision, so we can't see the cost. But I could be wrong. Yeah, this is how we pressure when we got a range support. Like, there's nothing they can do. Or a mage support, at least. We just keep on shoving waves under turret. And harassing them under turret where they just can't fight back to Xerath at all. I mean, just keep sending in front of Zerath since we have the spell shield. Perfect. That, oh, that is such an early tower, just for a 2v2.
Nice one. Um, Diana's gonna take ages to get to the Drake here is the thing. Like, I'd literally rather just base. Oh my god, I got a bounty with no kills and assists. Uh, do this. So yeah, I'd rather just uh, base and spend my gold and then head over to Drake. And just sit there waiting for the fucking Drake to get started. Okay, I gotta follow up. I was gonna just clear mid, but... Okay, they have it. I'm just gonna go make sure that I'm mid in time to get this farm. Hmm. Middle threat is actually already down as well. I don't know. When did that happen? Oh, that was with Herald earlier, wasn't it? Guess there's no middle threat to pressure here. Suppose we could try and gank top. Oh, that allow is low. So we're just gonna shove one wafer and then gank top. With or without Cled. I want him what to shove. Although, um... Actually, if he doesn't shove, we... Ooh. Oh, nice. Oof. Okay. Okay, a bit awkward that all three of the solo laners, or farmers, lane farmers are here. But somebody should get that mid farm while we are pressuring this turret. Yep, perfect. Zerth may be the support, but at least he's got really fast wave clear, so it's efficient to take that farm. And he's also obviously pretty good at skilling with gold. So it's just completely not a waste. Diana taking it would also be pretty decent. I was end up getting the turret before the planes fall. Can't believe it. Did not think that would be so easy. Oh, I feel so tempted to cash out the gold, but it's not important. <laughs> It really isn't important, because all, all it will do is, uh, like, what, give me another longsword? Is that really that big a deal compared to basing sooner, spending my gold sooner, getting out onto the map sooner, and potentially getting to join a fight that I otherwise wouldn't have been able to join? Like, what is more likely to impact the game? That, or getting a longsword? I think that would be more likely. And now it turns out that maybe nothing happens. That's fine. A longsword isn't likely to change anything either. We'll do wolves now and we'll just evaluate whether we want to go top or go bot or whatever. Or even just stay mid and Kled goes top. I would prefer for him to go top. Mm, okay, or we can just get a kill. That also works. Currently don't have any backups, I don't want to stay here. Definitely don't want to pressure that turret. I can do raptors. Yeah. Clyde has the same idea. Except the enemy raptors. Yeah, at the moment, I don't know exactly what our team is doing, but they're not really grouping, so there's not much to do on the map at the moment. We're just farming. That's why we go for the raptors there instead of immediately going for the midwave. We would want to go for the midwave if, uh, like, for example, like, now I suppose actually could do with rotating top because for some reason that seems to be where we're grouping. But before I had that information, there's no point shoving the wave fast just to not rotate anywhere. We may as well go for raptors instead. And we get the enemy rub buff. Cool. <coughs> oh, they surrendered. They must have an AFK, right? Maybe Kha'Zix? Alright, GG. Uh, yo, what up gamers? That was bad timing for my support to get hooked right as I was across the room. <laughs> okay, hello. We are back for another game of Silver to Diamond. Playing. Silver Lux into Jinx Blitzcrank. She probably didn't need the base there. She had potions, she had like half HP still, I think. But no biggie. Um, 
So since I'm 1v2 here, I probably don't want to start pushing with W. Probably want the level Q, yeah. If Blitzcrank tries to walk up the hook, then I can do more damage with Q and safer than I can with W. Nice one, we got two hits there. <coughs> okay, now we can start pushing. I think should have tried to push harder because at the moment they're barely gonna beat us to level 2 if at all. No point trying to just zone me from farm if... Hang on. There's a risky caster to go for. Paid off though. And no point trying to freeze to zone me from farm if you're not actually gonna zone me from farm. In fact, pushing is actually better for Blitzcrank because it gives me less minion cover obviously. So, it makes it easier for her support to land the hook. Man. We just throw the Q there. Like, I usually wouldn't prioritize using too much mana to harass Blitzcrank, actually, as opposed to Jinx. But that was so free. There, there was no chance he could dodge, like, either one of those, since he couldn't dodge to the wall. And he didn't have enough... Uh, like, it, it, he wouldn't be able to juke upwards, because it would just take too long. I was guaranteed to get hit there, so may as well. It's a lot of damage if you can guarantee both Q hits. I don't have to care too much about the hook, as long as I react to it with my W in time. Okay, ideally I would like to base on 800 gold. Hmm. Could have already based here though, really. Yeah, this would have been a good time to base even though I could only get double longsword. Should have just settled for that. Oh well. It's ridiculously easy. Can't even see the traps. Oh, they're in the minion wave in the Luxie. Ah, oh, god damn it. That was awkward timing. Okay, I guess now we just get to keep pushing them, though. This time it's me that couldn't dodge there because of the minion wave. I got my spell shield up, so I trust myself to always block that, so I can play as aggressively as I want. The only thing I, that could potentially screw me is Blitzcrank flashing, but I just gotta make sure I'm not literally under turret range and it shouldn't matter too much. We have a, we've had 80 mana refunded through Presence of Mind without even actually getting kills, by the way. That's kind of crazy. <coughs> I think this might be the last wave I shove since I'm going to be alone for now anyway. Is this a kind of wave? It is. Perfect. We'll base back here. So if Lux is, or sorry, if Jinx is going to throw a W through the brush, she might try and do it through like this angle, which would miss me. We want to try and stand in an unpredictable spot if possible. Ooh, Kalunda belongs are pretty nice. Could have also done Berserkers. But I would rather get Cole, because I'm addicted. By the way, a lot of people ask me about this, like, why I like Cole so much. And I feel like a lot of people, they just emphasize the wrong thing about Cole. They don't think that, that the gold you gain from it is too important, which is right. If I only bought it for the gold, I wouldn't bother buying it at all. It's the plus three healing on hit that I think makes a really big deal. And I've thought that ever since... Um, they reduce the amount of healing in the game, they nerf Bloodline, they nerf the amount of life still you get from Vamp Scepter. There's just a lot less healing in the game nowadays than there was like a year ago, right? But they didn't nerf Cole, which makes it proportionally more valuable than it used to be. And ever since then, I've just always loved buying it. Because I just look at how much healing I'm getting per auto onto minions, and it's just a much bigger amount from Cole. Like, uh, proportionally, it's just much more healing coming from Cole than there used to be. So I think Cole is just a lot more valuable now. And by now, I mean since like a year ago, whenever they nerfed the healing. 
That's why I like it so much. It's less of a deal though if you're rushing vamps up there, but I'll still buy it just because I like it. And vamps up there was nerfed as well. But definitely the more healing your champion has, the less point there is in Cole. We'll just skip the Blitzcrank, go directly on the Jinx there. Nice one. Let's focus on shoving the Swaven and then we can place some vision in the Tri Brush. Or, um, I really should, but I really want to get this plating. Oh, Lux also has a drinker. She should definitely... She should have let me have the solo plating and gone to ward. So potentially we die here. Oh no, actually, we see Nidalee. In our topside jungle, apparently. Do they have pinks? No, so we don't need to camp that brush. Lux Q, so we hit a free Q. Yeah, I mean, Sivir, Lux, pretty good bot lane, just like the other ones we've had, which have hard CC. Anything that sets up an easier Sivir Q is going to be pretty good with her. Oop. Wow, no way he lives. No way. Oh, okay. I, I told you there was no way. We can try and engage on Blitz here. Okay, perfect. Should have led with the Q, really. My bad. Okay. Oh, no, Lux. Okay, executed. Not bad. Could be worse. We can finish shoving this out. And I can get this little plating. Didn't pop the ghost because there was no need for that. We can just use the ult. Anyway, I'm glad Lux took aggro there, because that definitely made the dive actually possible. If I had to take the aggro myself, I don't think we could have really dived. Uh, I'll just do Berserkers here, actually. I like this more. Gives us more attack speed. Which is pretty nice on server these days, as mentioned. God damn, we have a lot of ganks from the mid lane, Garen. For a second there, I had to check and make sure that he wasn't our jungler. Where's Blitzcrank? Found him. Oof, actually dodged that. Okay, so I also do have to be careful that he doesn't just silence me with ult and then hook. Well, the silence is very brief. I might still be able to use E. I'm not sure. Like, um, obviously I can't use E while silenced. I mean, the silence might run out uh, before I actually need to use E for the hook. Ooh. Close one. We can just dive, honestly. I should have spot at that, my bad. We don't actually aggro her until we're out of turret range, right? That makes the dive a lot healthier and more likely to succeed. We keep leaving the turret aggro. We don't need to be taking turret aggro for this dive until we're ready to get the kill. Like, right now. I should have spot at that hook, by the way. Oh, am I gonna die to ignite here? Should be fine, I think. I might be a Jinx ult soon, though. My minions! Oh my god, I nearly died to turret there. Oh good. So here's pretty unlikely to be thrown a Jinx ult at. We'll see. I've also got spell shield now, if I need it. Alright, cool. She should not have been touching that wave.
Hopefully it gets fixed by jinx setting it, or is she based? No, there's no way she would have based. Yeah, she's here. Damn, sadly first error does not go to us. Okay, that's a free kill. Nice one. It's a little bit risky to push here, but I'd like to get this turret at least before plating's fall. I'm also actually gonna focus on denying some farm. Just a little bit at least. I'd like to farm the next wave as well anyway. So I'd rather wait for the wave to come to me than have to overextend for it. There we go. Now that gives us mythic. Uh, I really should help with this streak, honestly. I would be greedy at the base. Without helping with that. I won't bother placing a ward in the trap bush, though. We're gonna leave bot at the moment, anyway. Okay. I'll just rush towards mid, where it seems Garand has left the lane alone. For a gank, I don't foresee working out. Garen should go bot, ideally. So if he follows that command. <laughs> He's doing the enemy wolves. Or trying to, at least. He might have done them, I'm not sure. Oh my god, what is he doing? Hmm. Sadly not gonna be able to get any platings mid then. Wait, what? I just... I dodged that then walked into the range of where it was and it damaged me retroactively, what? Probably didn't need to use my E early there. Oh, no way! No, what? That was unexpected. Wait, oh, what? Did I not get hit by the Blitzcrank? Hold. What damaged me then? Maybe it was just a Mazahar auto, actually. Let me see. Spark up burst by something at the very end. Just a tiny bit of burst. It does feel like the Blitzcrank e hit- or Blitzcrank ult hit me, what? How did I not get hit by that? What? I don't see what else could have damaged me. I don't see Mazahar autoing or anything. Weird. Anyway, my bad. Min mistake was using E on the Blitzcrank hook before checking to see whether it was aimed at me or not. Should have had that up still. I also should not have let Mazahar walk up to Emi. I could have actually- I could have at least started fighting back. I just- Mila was not like punishing it because it was so unexpected to me. And Hilo and Mazahar would never do that. He'd use E on the wave. So I was just not willing to adapt there to the fact that he did do that. But you need to be flexible and punish stuff like that. Oh, that's her dead. I need to run. I might have to use Ghost to escape, we'll see. Ow, god. Should really play it safe and start ghosting, yep. Got her. <laughs> Sadly, no kills for me, except... No, not literally nothing, I don't think. Oh well. So, we won the fight. I'll take it. Probably, I should have honestly just spell shitted the Nidalee Q. I was thinking, I wasn't sure if it would hit me, and also I figured it was more important to spell shit the Blitz hook, but honestly, it was pretty unlikely Blitz would ever get in range to hook me, so. In the end, it probably worked out better that I didn't do the spell shit on the Blitz hook, though, or spell shit on the Nidalee Q, since it kind of baited her.
But they could have gone worse, for sure. I did not plan that out. She needs to stop hitting this wave. Oh my god. I literally should have arrived to 6 yes, they're not 1. <clears throat> I don't want to base until I've cashed out coal. And I can hopefully sell it for uh, pickaxe and caulfields. Shogath, no. Like, I'll get two CS here, but ideally I want the entire wave. To maximize the odds of getting every component for Navori. Guess I gotta help her. We don't even have our jungler here, so I don't think we should be starting Drake, so I'm just gonna recall. Yeah, there we go. Oh, um, okay, I mean, we do have Cho'Gath, but it doesn't have ult up. In 27 seconds, we can start that ult without Kane. Uh, that Drake, brother. Oh, no. Gosh, I'm pinging him back. I don't want to take this. Well, okay, it seems that Nidalee doesn't have vision because she's going mid. I guess we can do it now. Still, there's still the risk that absolutely anybody could steal this, but... Okay, nice. Oh man, two more seconds and he could have just eaten it with his ult. Which would uh, also just give him free stacks. What the heck? Steady fucking eats my cannon. Cool. Uh, I, need a I need one more wave for Novori. In the meantime though, since I can't overextend for this, I'm gonna start the Raptor, see if I can get away with that. We got ult up, so we're relatively safe. It would just cost us an ult cooldown. Nice one. Couldn't see the angle properly. <laughs> Better safe than sorry. Alright, a space. Just ignore this. No chance to get there in time to influence the fight, so we're just go gonna go mid. Then we can maybe rotate top. Mm, okay, Jinx dead as well. Not much to do there then. We'll just push the turret for now. I should be able to skip it easily. Or we can just ambush Nidalee here. Ah, probably went in vision there back soon. Yeah, these minions are just walking right into me. <laughs> Whoops. Alright, we'll walk away. We don't want to take this fight. The blue is spawning though. This is pretty good. Hopefully I can get this. It's bullshit there because I couldn't tell if it was going to blind me or not and it's hard to react to. <sighs> kind of hard to fight back here because of my low range. If I was playing Jinx, this fight would be really good. Okay, he already walked through this Teemo Shroom. I should probably get Red Trinket, actually. It would be really useful against Teemo. I can't keep pushing. I can get Wolves done. Maybe Gromp, even. Yeah, it looks like nobody's coming to punish, so... I do still have Ghost if I need that to escape. There's also maybe a small chance I can just kill Jinx here. Oh no, she left. Okay, we'll just <laughs> shove this out then. We can also shove the next wave too. But then we really want to base and spend this gold. Oh, or we just keep on pushing with the Herald actually. Oh my lord. Nice one. Enemy 
Puts this turret down as well. What about the next one? Does it have time to charge? Oh my god, wait, we didn't even need it. Yeah, I should have spell shit of that, my bad. That's a lot of damage to take. Won't push any more than this for the Nexus turrets. We can just keep pushing here though. Nice one. And while they're distracted with Drogoth, we can at least. Oh my god, I wasn't paying attention to that. We can at least start trying to push this as well. As long as nobody's positioning to try and punish me, there's just no reason to back off here. Nice one. Oh, my bad. Team Mushrooms. How is this Cho'Gath not dead yet, by the way? He's been fucking 1v5 for ages. Nice one. Nice one. Wait, my farm. Got it. <laughs> All right, GG. Yo, what up, gamers? We are back for another game of Silver to Diamond. Unfortunately, starting with no summoners and E start. That was quite unfortunate because I saw them place a ward here. I don't know who placed the ward, but somebody did. So I felt comfortable enough that they weren't invading, or at least it would be super delayed. Oh, my bad. Gotta cover that blue. Um, so confident that they wouldn't be invading that I ult tab for a second to update the win loss. And that is the exact moment apparently Morgana came out of a brush and tried to kill me. So I leveled D, but, this, but it got fucking uh, removed by... Or it got removed by Ari W before the spell shield actually hit me. So that sucked. I need to disengage. Another Morgana key hits me and I'm dead. That wasn't too bad a trade though. Especially considering the ability I started with. I think we'll do W here instead of Q. There we go, guaranteed damage onto the Jin. Supposed to Q, which can miss. We don't have a support that can easily enable a Q hit this lane anyway, so. At least not unless he lands a uh, direct Q, I don't think. Nice one. I want to get some HP back from blocking spells. Can't uh, spell shoot the fourth shot, unfortunately, so just gonna have to respect that for now. There we go, eventually I use it on the cannon. Emilio is way out of position right now, by the way, and I gotta watch out for that, because he actually could have screwed me really hard by standing in that brush if Morgana just walked up to me. Especially given that I don't have spell shield right now. What Morgana should have done was just walk directly into me, and Emilio wouldn't have been in a position to peel me there. Nice one. Okay, we can look to base now. I can get double longsword. Sadly, no coal. It's gonna be the best time to base. This is already too late for them to freeze. Oh, do they have vision here? No, they don't. Perfect. Okay. <coughs> they don't have enough minions to freeze there, and it's too close to their turret to freeze as well. And because it's a cannon wave, they're not gonna be able to show this fast enough. They should have a decent chance since Morgana actually has really good wave clear for supports. But she's not using her fucking W. Especially on, especially on cannon waves. She has really good wave clear with the W because the cannon reduces her W cooldown to permanent uptime. But you can see she's not touching the wave. Jin is not even trying to hard shove it either. So all that I miss here is three melees. And hopefully when I get into lane here, hopefully I can... Thin this out really hard and prevent them from shoving it in because then they would want the base as well. 
to match my two long swords. So the first thing I want to do immediately as I enter lane here is start hitting the minions with as much AoE as I can. Oh, what the fuck? Pop goes just to get a bit of position on Talon here. Ah, oh, damn it. I'll take some damage here, but not in a killable position, thankfully. Alright, so actually I don't even need to shove anymore. At the moment, uh, I've already successfully made it, so we're in basically the same wave state. They can't crash to a base, and we just want to just keep chilling, because at the moment I'm sitting on two extra longswords compared to Jin. Or a longsword and a Doran's Blade, to be more accurate. He's also got no mana, no HP. Nice one. Oh, hello. I'm gonna trench of this as hard as I can. We wanna help there? Maybe. Rotate through here. Yeah, I got her. I don't know if this was worth it though. We'll see. Well, I must have come Morgana too, but we need to disengage now. Close. Oh, there should be a double for any. Does she have ult? She does. Dude. Get him fast. Get him fast. Okay, thank god. She had a clear position to ult both of them there. I don't know what she was waiting for. Oh, she should be fine. Should be able to get this plating myself too. Perfect. I want to leave this wave, I think. Yeah, I mean, I could shove it, but at the same time, there's not too much benefit to it. It's not going to change my base at all. And it's not really going to get me more CS in the long run, because if I stay here and get these CS, I'm still going to miss some farm in the next wave, right? Pretty much guaranteed. Uh... Do this, this, and this. Could do boots instead of dagger, but honestly, I'd rather have the combat stats. And, well, technically, it's also pretty much just harassing stats, right? Given how my W works. <coughs> That's what we got a Drake, too. Yeah, I think the main the main reason why I didn't want to shove this, even though it looked pretty safe. I, technically, there's also the factor that you don't know what you're miscalculating. Maybe Ari's roaming or the top laner's roaming down and you didn't notice. And you're going to die for shoving a wave, which you could have easily avoided. There's always that factor as well, right? Hang on. Holy shit. There's nothing I can do to save this Emilio. <laughs> I just need to make sure I don't also get dived. Uh, but the main reason was that if I leave that wave where it was, it was inevitably going to be pushing back into us. Oh, wait, this is my, not my mid laner. Holy shit. Wait, I'm trolling. Oh my god. Dude, I didn't notice she was still there. I was fucking distracted by my commentary, man. What? Oh, I'm so sad, man. I should have never died there. I had spell shield. Fuck, that's annoying. Who even goes for that? <laughs> what? Man, I was so distracted. Fuck, my bad. Yeah, sorry, uh, <laughs> on to the explanation. Because this was pretty much uh, all the way up to their turret, and their turret is going to kill some of my melees, and it's also really far on this side of the map, if I just leave the wave as it is, as opposed to crashing it and causing a full reset where the waves only meet here, this is a terrible wave state, thanks to Momo, by the way, uh, instead, their minions kill my minions really fast, and it keeps denying more of their minions. If I crash that instead, uh, it only results in an even wave state over here later on, and Jin misses nothing. So I'd rather just leave it as it was, where I arrived to a really big wave, and Jin arrives to very little. Especially because I didn't need the gold for anything. If I did need some gold, then it could be worth it. Yeah, I might want to back off here, I might be getting ganked again. Do we have any more vision? We don't. So we want to play safe for now. 
Yeah, there she is. Yeah, the one we got dived there, I was vaguely aware that there was somebody behind there on the map. I just figured it was one of my teammates. I did not realize they were actually hanging around that long to try and dive me. When it was a pointless dive, like, I just spell showed whatever they threw at me. Literally only worked because it was so dumb. Honestly, we can just go in here, I think. I spell showed the Morgana ult. I got him. That was actually something I meant to talk about before the video, but I got distracted by the invade as well. You can actually very easily spell shot Morgana ult. It's very telegraphed when she's gonna ult. Uh, that being said, you can't actually ult the stun part. You have to... Or sorry, you can't uh, spell shield the stun part. You have to spell shield the initial hit or you spell shield nothing at all. And obviously it's a lot easier to just spell shield the second part than the first part, right? But it's still actually very easy to spell shield the first part. You just... Pay attention to when Morgana's walking up to you. If her Q's on cooldown, it makes it all the more obvious because there's nothing else she can throw at you except her ultimate. So you just let her get in your range. You even walk into her range and just pre-use the spell shield. She will use ult the moment she's in range. Every time. Every time. It is so predictable. So if I can get that on the screen there. On the replay. Yeah, it should wait. Oh no. We've already missed it, didn't we? Oh well. I guess I'll wait 20 gold here for Berserkers. Ooh. If he lives, then this is pretty nice. Well, actually, no, nah, I guess it's whatever. Because his ult actually does sort of help him wave clear. Anyway, now that uh, this Mundo is falling behind, I was considering doing a really wacky build to be able to kill him since server sucks at dealing with tanks. But if he's really behind, then we can just get away with doing a regular build or just Lord Dominic's third. I was thinking about maybe also doing Bork at some point. But it won't be necessary if he's super behind. Someone just needs to walk in a straight line backwards and it would have been fine. Okay, he still is fine, thankfully. I got spell shield for her Q, so I'm always gonna kill her here. No way. Okay, thank god. Now we hopefully get Jin too. No, we won't. Okay. And we just start focusing on shoving. It's fucking Ari on the way again. God damn it. Thank you for the pings. Okay, I've got ult if I need it. Yeah, I don't know if I want to use ult because he can always just jump another wall. Oh well. I don't know where Ari is. Still. But at this point I'm confident that Confident enough to keep walking forwards. Alright, nice. I guess he didn't expect me to dive there. Yeah, I figured if Ari was actually gonna gank, she would have shown herself a lot sooner. She probably actually just based. Hmm, so that's probably also a very predictable Morgana ult, except. I don't know if I didn't uh, let her get in my range or if it's... Uh, like, obviously my spell shield went down to talent W anyway, so that could have been really awkward if I actually got in the Morgana ulted. I don't know if she didn't ult because she wasn't in range or if she was actually just trying to wait out my spell shield. But the moment I saw her walking towards me, I kind of figured something was up and I was just going to try and spell shield her ultimate again. Tell you the exact moment. Because at the moment, she's not trying to get in my range, right? But then here I'm backing off, and she's still walking further into me. And it's just obvious she wants to ult. Yeah, she definitely was in range. She was actually just trying not to have the same thing happen to her again. You see, you don't need to react to it. You just need to, like, know when she wants to actually ult. Thing is, once you do it once, obviously, like, she is, she's onto my tricks now. She knows I can do it. <laughs> she might try and avoid it happening again in future. But still, that also buys you a lot of time to just back off out of her ultimate range as well. I 
I'll pop Ghost here and try and go engine. God damn it, that trap is so inconvenient. Fuck. Ah, oh, that should have been a kill if not for the trap, because I wouldn't have been hit by the Morgana W either. But we still get this though. Mm -hmm. Okay. Fucking hell, I have to back off really far. Fuck. Okay, we'll just keep on running for now. Okay. Probably just gonna want the base here, it's too risky to stay. <coughs> Morgana shouldn't have done that, because this is not going to crash in time. I'll not wait for all of my HP, though, because I want to be sure I get here in time for this wave that she's going to try and crash. Ooh, this is such a slow push, though. I could have actually waited for all of my HP. She needs to get her W on top of the cannon. They kind of moved ahead of where she placed her W. Her wave clear is much faster if she gets the cannon W cooldown reduction. But yeah, at least of this wave, I only missed one CS. You see that of the first wave, I actually missed all of the last hits, even though she didn't crash it. Which goes to show just how little she actually needed to shove that. By shoving, all she did was make sure that Jin lost as much as I did, when he should have had a small advantage there. Alright, that time, just wanted to be sure that- it was pretty unlikely she would ult me, but she also wasn't throwing Q. So, just gotta be sure. Because if you fail to spell shield the first part, there's no spell shielding the second either. Shouldn't Jin still be here? Wow, he actually recalled, what? But he literally just got back into lane. Ooh, he's doing the Kraken Slayer build, I love it. My god, this hero's pushed far. Show him another wave here. Okay, Jin is back. We can check the enemy red buff. Or, and if there is an up, we can just either take Raptors or pressure... Yeah, actually, I'm gonna go and tell him here. He's got no W through this wall now. Nice one. Did I move a flash for that? That was quite unnecessary, <laughs> I gotta say. <gasps> yeah, if, uh, not for him just jumping into that pit, I was actually just gonna stand behind here and try and look for some pick. Either waiting for them to walk into me or just flanking them since they were so low that they were easily burstable. It's not worth it to flash the killer. Nice. Did a lot of damage to him. We do have one more CS just to cash out my coal. Which allows me to sell it and get a get a, another component for Navori. Just gonna try and last it with W, I'll just block it. For fun. Should be fine here. Okay, nice. I probably didn't even need to hold, honestly. I was thinking about going aggressive on Ari, but I can't even reach her anyway, so... Oh, well. I'll just base anyway. Oh, she is way overextended. She could easily get collapsed on from mid. I'm not going to be pressuring mid now, so... Like, this was actually fine when I was pressuring mid, because to respond to her, they would need to live leave mid undefended. Oh, I'm so close to this. It's not worth selling. Turns blade, though. They would need to leave mid undefended, and then I just get a free turret, right? So she would die, but we would get a free turret, which is worth more than Fira's life. But the moment we have to base on mid, Fira also has to let off the pressure on top, because now there's no advantage to uh, them coming to gank her. She would just die and give them free gold. But the moment I start pushing mid again, once again, this pressure is useful. And I think she she seems like she's fine just hanging about that far back. It's just all the way down here that she's at risk. For no reason. So we gotta push her just to enable Fiora to do her thing. Also so we can hopefully get this Drake. Alright, we see Talon there. Okay, 
Oh, he has no smite. No worries. Yeah, it seems like there's a lot of people dealing with her right now. I think I might be able to get the turret this time. Yeah, Ari's mid and she's their best- or sorry, top and she's their best wave clear, so... Who's pinging me? Oh, does she want us to keep pushing? Yeah, that's fair. I could base for Navori right now, but... Wait, that's not how this spell shield works. <laughs> I have to block the hit, not the fucking proc. Just thinking of team mushrooms. We can take the enemy wolves right now. Nice one, Fiora. You can see they need more people to deal with Fiora than they are willing to send. They can't really send more people if I just keep pressuring mid. Alright, we'll shove out this one wave and now it's gonna be useless to keep on pushing since Fiora's dead anyway. Okay, looks like I'll need to- oh fuck, my bad. I'm so screwed now, my bad, I shouldn't have bothered using... Uh... Flash. The, ma the, the complicated thing about trying to spell shield the RE... E is that at the same time as she's throwing her E, you're also getting hit by her W and her ultimate. And it's... I don't know how you're supposed to actually get that timing right. I think it's just completely luck-based. Look, if we slow this down... Off speed, and then where is it? I froze up and just didn't use my, my charm at all, but... Or my... sorry, my spell shield. There was a window there where I could... Uh, spell shield the charm, obviously, but at the same time, like, literally, you just see her ultimate coming at me, and it's like, how the fuck do I avoid spell shielding that? Uh, do we need Lord Dominix? No, so we can just go Bloodthirster. Obviously, usually against the window, you'd want Lord Dominix, especially as Sivir, given how much she sucks at dealing with tanks. But, it's pretty behind. His yes is actually not bad. I thought it would be getting stumped more, but... We can definitely get away with this, especially because a lot of the time Mundo is just going to be dealing with his Fiora anyway, who seems to have no intention of grouping, which is good. It's what the champion wants to do. So it would be a lot easier to spell shield that compared to the ultimate E combo. Okay, Fiora. Getting collapsed on, we kind of need to push here if we can. Nice one. Oh, my bad. Didn't see Talon. Will you know? I can't fucking see him. Okay, I got him. And I should be safe. Uh, safe fish until apparently this Mundo decided to go onto me and nobody continued hitting him. I swear, like, a Mumu could have just kept on going on him, right? Or did a Mumu actually just get caught by something? I don't know if that was my fault or a Mumu's fault that I could have died to Mundo there if he'd kept on chasing. Let me see. Oh, no, 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 yeah, they were about to get one shot either way. My bad. I should have been backing off from Mundo, not trying to hit him. We'll do Vamp Scepter. This is obviously going to take a while for this wave to actually get into a spell where I can farm it. So in the meantime, we'll just get wolves. Can also do raptors. I was actually going to say, and I would love if raptors were up as well, but... They weren't, except I just realized they're also coming up. I'll just pick up whatever's left of the mid lane wave when the enemies shove that in. And make it really safe for me to farm. So I missed two melees. I could have gone mid and got two extra melees. Or I can just farm it now. Miss two melees and have two extra camps in my pocket. Like, which is better? Obviously, having the two extra camps. I'm way out of position here. God damn it. Ah, oh, fuck. I should have dodged that.
Yes, okay, I don't know if the ghost was necessary, but it made it a lot more likely that I'd just be able to dash through the ult. Okay, I'm a little healthier now. Maybe I can join up again. Oh my god, that demolished them. This wonder won't flash on me, will he? No. Don't know if we needed to give up this turret. Surely somebody must have been able to defend with me. Can't keep on chasing because I don't have more spell shields. Nice. Fourth item definitely has to be Lord Dominic's. Gotta make sure we're pressuring mid. If there are some breathing room, especially with the stop line in head, this is a good time to keep on pressuring. Just gonna take this. Mm. My, the best move here might just be to join Fear and actually just kill the people that are defending against her. I'm not willing to not get the red buff though. I guess we can also just do Drake. Hello. Okay. Let's do the strike. Gonna fucking reset here, isn't it? We'll see. I'm gonna move a smite. And Fiora kept on pushing, so they're gonna try and deal with Fiora immediately. I, th I say we just help Fiora, because we don't have time to pressure mid. We need to shove in mid wave and wait for it to walk all the way in. Uh, well, actually, for now, they're not even sending people after her, so I guess we can actually just go mid. Once Annie shoves that, it's taking her a while. Okay, I guess we join Fiora, actually. <laughs> I'll pop my ultimate. Face Sanctum Mundo here, it doesn't really matter too much. Ah, bad spell shield. There was nothing spell shield there. I need to flash if Talon goes on me, but he won't. Good shit. Hmm. Cool. Don't have spell shield right now. So I can't get too close to Morgana. If I get an auto attack range of her, I definitely can't. Spell sh uh, dodge it, rather. Unless she just misses. But if I maintain longer distance than that, then I have time to dodge. Okay. Because <laughs> that being our Ari would try and actually do something there. I mean, I have time to kill her as well, but I will. Oh, hello. And, and, there we go. GG. Yo, what up gamers, we are back for another game of Silver to Diamond. Uh, I'm not gonna leash there. <laughs> Taking far too long to get into lane. I'm gonna hope the enemy bot lane is also leashing. I'm just gonna start W here, yeah, they are leashing. We can tell because Malphite is already in lane. I'm just gonna shove this then. Let's see what happens. Like, I'm not in 100% confident this is the right move, but at least I'm, I know I'm getting a lot of soul XP here, and I'm not, no, I'm not gonna get punished. Because the enemy bot lane isn't in lane. Soul XP is nice. We see Kaelin positioning to auto attack me there, so I can just throw a free Q at her. She's gonna be locked down by her own auto attack, so she can't dodge it. Okay, we missed 3 CS. She's stuck between the turret there, so very little room for her to dodge. Another Q. Perfect, okay, she's, she's missed even more from than me. Look at that, 4 CS. That is crazy bad. Spade off pretty well. I would not have done that though if I thought they were not leashing and they were just going to be in lane because then I'm going to be 1v2 for a while and they're pushing, or I'm pushing rather, so they can just zone me from the wave. But since they're gone and by the time they arrive, Karma's going to be back as well, more or less. It's just very free.
Mainly just doing that for poke, or sorry, for uh, pushing rather than poke. It's pretty nice as well to remove some of the minion wave when you're laning with Karma. So she can have an easier time landing Qs. At least the melee is anyway. The caster, she can just get some splash damage onto the enemy ADC with. She's slowed by that, so it's going to be an easier Q. She could have at least dodged the second hit, but the first hit was hard for her to avoid. Again, what we want to combo the Q with any CC possible, at least if we're close enough. If Kaelin is just really far away, I should have spotted that, my bad. And maybe it's just not possible, but that, she was pretty close range there, so... Nice one. She might... Oh, nice. Okay, I was gonna say, she might die to uh, just a uh, random W there. Actually died to Comet. Okay, cool. Got an assist for that. Should be able to crash this and base. Alright, no point going for the plating. It's still full HP pretty much. It's gonna be too tanky. I'm gonna waste too much time trying to go for that. Since we still kill plating very slow since we don't have AD. <coughs> just gonna get coal and a double longsword should be doable. I'll just sell this potion. I don't want to wait for this extra longsword. I, I suppose I could have also just done a dagger, but... Yeah, actually, I really should have done a dagger, because that would have allowed me also to get earlier berserkers, which is what I want to prioritize from now on. Oh well, too late now. But something to note for next time I'm in that situation. Yeah, the kids don't do too much damage to her right now. My bad. Not a good trade, but I can't really avoid it. Actually, it did turn out to be a good trade though, since Kalen was just busy running away there. Rather than trading back. Thanks to Karma engaging on her with me, that was pretty nicely timed. Okay, I just want to shove this out mainly just so I have a chance to play some vision. Is the plating about to fall or anything? No, not yet at least. It doesn't give me too much time to ward though. Because I'm assuming Karma is probably just gonna try and get the plating down herself, so... I guess I'll just place a really... ...lazy ward there for now and we'll just keep on pressuring with that. 67 damage onto Caitlyn there, with an ability I use mainly for wave clear. Nice one. Okay, Graves potentially coming in for a dive. Use Ghost just to get out of turret range sooner. Okay, nice. I, I decided anyway that even if she wasn't going to die to that, I did not want to actually finish off that dive. It wouldn't be worth it. Oh, come on. Oh well. Okay, the plating is about to fall. Ooh. We are getting ganked by Listen though, but I'm greedy, so. We want to back off ASAP though. Is he not actually coming? He took the blast gun at a really awkward angle for zero reason. He might have a ward. That's fine. Might be able to kill him now. Good shit. Okay, I'm leaving now. We leave that wave. Okay, we're able to get Berserkers anyway, so this double longsword worked out actually pretty nicely. Oh! No! Damn! Right, there was a ward right there. She knew we were there. That blows. Oh well. Okay, I just want to rush into lane now. We don't want to wait for the full HP because... In a state like this, where this is inevitably going to crash in very soon, time is literally money. At the very least, I should be able to get this cannon. Yeah, you can see the time is going to be pretty tight, right? So if I get this cannon, I probably only get it. Yep, nice. Because I didn't wait for my full HP bar. I just gained like, what was that, 70 extra gold? We're leaving base early. 
Did I accidentally put an extra point in W? I did, huh? Did it slightly too early, but whatever. We may as well just continue maxing W now. I mean, actually, it doesn't cost me anything to just put another point in Q now. I don't know if it's really worth it to have W max before level 10. This Q really is a lot better early on. I don't know, I suppose we can try it. We'll just max W and see how it goes. Two points in one ability to then max another is also something that's pretty good on certain champions. I would wager it's better than full maxing Q on Sivir. I, just, I want to disengage from this as soon as she gets the headshot. I don't want to tank the headshot. The rest I'm fine to tank though. Nice one. Didn't get that plating yet, but we'll get it soon. Hopefully I'll get it before Karma enters lane and taxes it. <coughs> nice one. Did Kaelin go mid? I swear I just saw Kaelin on mid. Might be around solo, I'm not sure. I mean, the wave clear is certainly nicer with the early points in W. Alright, I'll shove this wave and then we bitch space. And now I leave. You can't tame the desert. Don't wanna wait for my mana, I just wanna enter lane. Is, we didn't base on a cannon wave, so they even though um, they haven't started shoving it yet, uh, they could always just very easily crash it, and again, time is money. <coughs> Obviously, you want to wait for some HP and some mana, but you can leave base early. You'll be using, you know, your mana region exists for a reason as well. Nice one, that was actually perfectly placed. I'm going to try and either zone her from the... So she doesn't get the plating, or at least get a good trade off of her willingness to go for that plating. Can puppy go so I can chase down. What the fuck? Chase down more effectively, I was gonna say. Oop, okay. So I live at least. That was really weird gank. What on earth ganks in that situation, man? Okay, yeah, nice. I'll go place a ward here because this is the only place I can get ganked from at the moment. I just need to stay away from that brush basically and then there's no chance I get ganked from the lane. She might die to my WQ combo here. Oh, so close. So fucking close. Yep. Just super hard to pressure me under turret. I can't really stay here because for all I know, Lee Sin is still around, right? So if it's just Leeson alone, having Karma would be enough to protect me from that. But in case they're all just sitting there cheesing, well, maybe not all. Lux, uh, Caitlyn can't really afford to do that, but... Lux could definitely just be sitting around in a brush with Leeson trying to wait to cheese me. So we're not going to risk it. It's probably not happening. Especially the lower elo you go, the less people actually get smart about their cheesing like that. But we're just not going to take the risk because, again, like, what, what does shoving one more wave accomplish here anyway? It denies some form from Caitlyn, that's for sure. I'd crash this wave, but I mean, the entire wave is dead now anyway. But I don't need the gold for anything. The gold would literally accomplish nothing in the short term. And it would only be just a little bit of gold in the long run anyway. Because obviously, no matter how good your base timing is, you're going to miss like two to three farm, guaranteed. No matter what timing you base in. So getting an entire wave, not really the big W that it sounds like. Uh, 
that's fine. Would have used the E on the Q. I didn't want to try and react to her E just to mess up the timing because it's hard to react to. So we don't even bother throwing it unless we see the kill and Q. Alright, nice. We're actually just straight up winning the lane 1v2 right now. It's pretty easy to do, I guess, this Baldwin, I think, is Sivir. Because of how much liberty my spell shield grants me in terms of how aggressive I can play. I know that uh, even if Lux cues me, like, I'm just going to spell shield it. Even if I fail to dodge it, and I'll be fine. So I can play really aggressively and not die. I can just test out the trades and see how they go. Does she have a fourth shot right now? No. Not fourth shot, headshot. I don't know where Leeson is, though. He should probably be ganking me. But, well, not right now, now that they've used Herald there. This has done a ridiculous amount of damage to Lux. Holy crap, that did like 400 damage. That's absurd. Can't really walk up for auto. Auto with W. Because it wouldn't quite be enough to burst her down unless she uses... Unle sorry, unless I crit. Alright, these bounces will do some damage. They need to get away from the wave. I, I know I got at least two bounces because I can tell from my presence of mind restarting. That it hit once and then hit once again. Ooh. Even if the second one hit, that wasn't going to quite kill her since I don't have points in it. Oh, dude, wait, this exhaust was not part of the plan. Okay, at least I got her, but I should die now. Ooh. Oh, well, oh, well. Not too bad. At least the shutdown went to Lux, but I was hoping for a double there. That was not worth it. Even just to uh, use Flash for that one kill on Caitlyn, not worth it compared to just continuing to pressure 1v2. And definitely 1 for 1 was not worth using Flash for, especially with that shutdown. My bad, I just- I think I only just noticed they have exhaust. Like, getting ignited there would have been perfectly fine. You can't tame a desert. Oh man, I got Drake. Inferno would have been nice. What did we bounce on her? Just the one time though. We should also clear this pink ward. There's some vision there too. Clear that blast gun as well is going to be important. Lost vision sadly, so I need to go all the way here. I probably should have just used the blue drinker vision while I had it because this wasted me a lot of time. Might cost me one farm. Does it? Nah, all good. Yeah, I don't know, like the... <laughs> Two points in Q into W Max felt perfectly fine. I guess if you suck at landing skill shots, it's just a more brain dead playstyle for you. That's equally well, not e at least it's effective. I don't know if it's equally effective. It's kind of hard to gauge that, but oh wow, I couldn't really commit for the dive there. This is fine, and I got her. Nice one. <laughs> I just had to try and angle my Q so it would hit her both times and the second hit would kill her. If I die, if I commit with auto attacks, then I'm also going to die to the turret, which I'd rather avoid. I don't know why Karma's top, especially with nobody else being top except her. Yeah, actually, come to think of it, I've been moving two for a while, what the hell? Is she trolling or what? <laughs> like, it's working fine. Like, my 1v2 is actually probably better than uh, being 2v2 because I get a lot of solo XP while still winning lane. But she she doesn't know that, right? She doesn't know I could 1v2. Weird. Hmm. <laughs> 
Nice, <laughs> you spread all my W's onto the rest of the wave. Alright, I just basically want to farm up my Navori and then leave. I think one more wave should do it, shouldn't it? Yep. Don't even need the full wave. Mainly just need the cannon. There we go. <coughs> Gonna walk up here to this fight, see what we can do. You'd have to path around since Leeson shut up. Don't know whether Moffat is ult or not, I guess not. Oop, my bad. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, okay, we're gonna have to leap. Did she just she just splashed? What the hell? That was actually risky. I could have missed that cannon easily. Can't really push this, so I'll check the raptors. Okay, raptors are down as well. Then we might want to just rotate top. Okay, cannon died, so less reason to rotate top, but maybe we can still get a turret. I don't think we're going to get anything mid. Nope. Just want to check the red. Okay, red is down. Jesus. <laughs> nice one. Um, it would be risky to go for Malphite right now. We don't know where Leeson is. We don't want to fight. I'm just going to leave Karma for that pretty much. Give her minimal support. Just really long range support with my Q. Fucking hell. Nice one. I guess Malphite got scared off. Just gonna shove one wave while I'm here. And in fact, I can just pressure the turret as well. Oh, no, 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 I should have splashed that. I need to flash away. Hopefully I'll be fine here. My bad. Jesus. That caught me off guard. Yeah, I was literally just thinking in my head about... Oh, I actually should have just kept on tanking the turret. Because I could easily get a turret there while tanking it. But that, those thoughts fucking distracted me from anything else. I was not expecting a sudden Malphite appearance. I was easily spellshittable if I had been paying attention. Okay, I have to leave here, unfortunately. I can maybe stay, though, if I just find a honey fruit somewhere. Should be some around, right? Because we're on ocean map. Uh, did we only just... Yeah, we only just got ocean map though, right? No, no, no. We didn't. Drake is still up. I don't know where the honey for placement are is the thing. We know Moffat at least doesn't have ult. Can spell this Q for some HP. Perfect. So I can stay here. I just can't really pressure. I think there should be a honey fruit here, right? Where the fuck? One here? What? Where are they? Usually you can find them all over. Huh? Oh. God damn it. <laughs> yeah, I guess I'll just stay here for now. At least we just got an ocean as well, so I'm getting slightly more sustain from that now. I have ult and E up, in case I need to put them out fighting cage again. Honestly, now that I spell shield his Q, and have spell shield up for his ult, it's still, um, it's still much better to spell shield that and not have spell shield up for his ultimate. I should be able to get the turret for free now if Leeson doesn't come. Because if he hits me with his- oh, I need to run. Fuck, I might be dead here. We'll see. Fuck. Okay, nice. I, 
think I'm fine here. Yeah, thank god. Thank you, Graves. I was gonna say, um... What was I gonna say? Oh, fucking hell. Okay, we splashed out of that. Ah, but I got hit by the attack speed slow. Should be fine overall. Yep, thank god Graves is still around. I want to push it and keep on pushing, because every time I think I'm safe to push, somebody else shows up. I'll just base. Bloodthirster should be fine. Moffat is super behind again. Just like every tank. We can get Lord Dominix now. Okay, what was I saying? Yeah, so if you get hit by a Moffat combo, starting with the ultimate, you then don't have a chance to special shield anything else, because before you've even landed from the knockup, he's going to hit you with the Q, the E. I don't think you can spell shield the W, but the W as well. Uh, whereas if you at least like spell shield the Q, then get hit by the ultimate because you don't have the spell shield for the ultimate. At the very least, you're not going to get hit by the Q, and you're also going to get the HP back from your E blocking the Q. Makes it much less likely that the dive will work out compared to Malphite just blindly hitting an ultimate on you and just failing to spell shield that. Both outcomes result in not spell shielding Malphite ult, but one is much more favorable. And less likely to result in death. What the fuck? Why did I get slowed by that? It was something to do with a Roland Soul. Does this thing slow? Wait, really? Wait. So Lee Sin Q can slow me if he has that red thing charged up? What? Uh, oh, did I get- Wow, I got a Roland Soul. Jesus. I should, probably should have ulted and ghosted as well to try and get Lee Sin as well. I can probably just do that to Lux now. Nope. Okay. Does she die out of that? Oh my god, she does. Oh, hello. I can beat her. <laughs> Didn't even notice her. Alright, not bad. Should have also had Lee Sin. Oh well. We can go for the enemy raptors now and then scuttle crab. Or we can just do her on yeah. <coughs> Yeah, as far as the laning phase went, um, Sivir is actually really good at those 1v2 situations the later on into the game that you go. Because even though her auto attack range is super low, her effective threat range is actually really high. Just being able to use auto attack on the wave. Like, even if the enemy bot is all the way back here, like, they're gonna get zoned by the W, right? They can't really get close to you unless they want to eat up all the Ws. Q also has super high range. As long as you your damage deal enough abilities to be a threat to the enemy bot lane, you can handle a 1v2 situation pretty easily if they can't just easily engage on you. I uh, guess I won't go top since Moffat isn't pushing that. I'll push another mid wave though. Okay, I'll just like 259 damage from that. Dude. I was window shopping. Hey. Should have timed this cube better, Bozo. This is gonna be a lot of damage on that Roland Soul. He's just took taking a lot of damage from that. Dude, I'm so lucky I noticed that fucking kill. I was looking at a Roland Soul. <laughs> Only barely spelled did it in time. Oh that should have hit him twice. That would have been a kill. Let's get this. Should hopefully go to me. <laughs> yeah, nice. I was gonna say, Cannon has every incentive to want to steal it from me though, considering I took his cannon. <laughs> I also go for this. Okay, nice. I was gonna say, if Karma uses Q, that's kind of troll because I do not need any help whatsoever in wave clearing. I should just be wasting our mana. A lot of supports will just use their AoE abilities late game, even when it's absolutely not needed. Which, cost, a, a best case scenario, cost them mana for nothing. Worst case scenario, accidentally take some farm. Which I think is why they do it. I think they hope they will accidentally get some farm. <laughs> you can't tell me that all of this 15 CS on Karma was necessary. I don't believe it. Wait, what? That didn't spell shot that. Well, it didn't do damage at least. But it did get stunned. I got spell shot back up now. 
Oh, gotta watch out for the loose one. Okay, nice. Not bad. It was a little bit risky engaging when I did because my spell shield wasn't quite up yet. But as soon as it came up, it was completely safe. The only thing that can really kill me there is Lux Q. So I just spell shield that and it's all good. I can stat check the rest of them. They can't completely turn on me because my team is there. All they can do is run, but they can't effectively run because I can just chase them down. There was no response for them there. Unless my team randomly all AFK'd and they all just and the enemy team all alone to me, there was no other there was no way besides that that they were gonna escape there. With their lives. Alright, GG. Yo, what up gamers, we are back for another game of Silver to Diamond. This time we're gonna be playing Silver Zyra into Yasuo Ari. Weird but wait, is that AD Ari? What the fuck is that bot lane, man? It's even weirder than I realized. Just wanna go walk up to Yasuo while he's level one. Level one, he has no way to fight back against ADCs. He'll get really annoying later on. Okay, Ari has no charm. Gosh, he did a lot of damage with that though. Maybe it would have been a slightly better trade if my support would have interacted at all, but, you know, we gotta deal with the cards we're given. Just gonna push for level 2 here. The Zara is just completely out of position, this is really annoying. He also is about to hit level 2, in which case he'll actually have abilities to fight with. Yeah, this fucking sucks. They should be so much less healthy. I need the base, sadly. Anyway, we're gonna be wanting to play this lane pretty defensively as a whole. But uh, level 1 should have been a time to fight since it was basically a 1v2 lane with you also having not enough range to actually do anything. Fortunately, Ari clearly has stronger traits than me, apparently. <laughs> As absurd as that sounds for AD Ari, but the Halo Blades gives her a huge advantage in the early trades. I guess that's the main thing, and with the W it's, it gives her enough of a move speed boost that I can't really avoid those if Sarah doesn't help me, so... Unfortunately pushed out of lane already, but at least we avoid a death. Gonna miss that cannon sadly, and that melee. Okay, we tried. Uh, we want to shove out this wave ASAP, because they have definitely base now. We want to try and make them miss some farm. Since it's not a cannon wave, so we should have enough time to clear this. There we go. Okay, I actually just want to base again, because now I actually have enough gold for picking up literally anything. I'll pick up, I think, the dagger, and we're going to rush Berserkers. Berserkers will be really good to have against Yasuo. Because we're basically just going to be kiting him all game. Um, it's going to be hard to avoid him get entering a range with having so many minions to dash through. But at the very least, once he gets into our range, we hopefully should be able to disengage from him and not just let him kite us too hard with... Or uh, kite into us too hard with autos or orb walk into us, however you want to call it. want to just make sure we can keep our distance. And if he closes the gap, then we can just unclose it again. Oh, I thought that was our fucking E, not an auto. Not bad. Having no E is very awkward now. Well, she has her E. Okay. Nice one. I think we're definitely going to want to do three points in Q here. Even though the two points worked pretty well last time. We just want to have something to immediately chunk Yasuo with if he ever engages. I think uh, the two points in Q then into maxing W worked a lot better into a ranged bot lane. As they had last game. How did that not block anything? What? I swear I should have blocked your Q. Yeah, worked better into a double ranged bot like in the previous game where they couldn't just force an engage. 
for which I would want some kind of immediate burst to try and dissuade them, or at least to chunk them every time they go for that engage. Nice one. And instead, we since they would mostly get zoned, or would keep their distance, the W would be a lot better at doing consistent damage through a range. Whereas against the ball like this, like the only way also actually doesn't it does anything to me is by getting to melee range, where Q hit is guaranteed. My bad, I missed that cannon. Okay, we're gonna pop the ghost. Oh no. I think our is in base, by the way. Okay. Yeah, are we based? We'll keep on maxing the W for level 10 as usual. I think that's always good. Okay, I'm actually going to want to shove this wave and then base, ideally. There's a world where he also can just zone me from the wave, but I think he's also basing now due to the HP he lost, so we should be able to pull it off. Okay, just a quick W at Ari to try and punish, but mostly we want to focus on the wave. Perfect. So, yeah, I mean, it's looking like a pretty passive lane, right? And that's what it is. Exactly what it is. There's not much we can do to fight them since I can just put up a wind wall to block all my autos at any point. I won't wait for all my mana. I want to enter lane fast here. So we'll just have to settle for the dagger instead of longsword as well. Bear in mind, we are going to hard outscale the Yasuo. Yasuo is not going to have nearly as much ability to output damage in teamfights as we are. That's why we're fine to just play extremely safe here. I assume the Ari has to scale terribly as well. So, plane going pretty much as we want it to go right now. There's not too much chances again to try and actually outplay the Yasuo, given how brain dead the wind wall is. And just making me completely ineffective, so we don't want to put ourselves in situations where we would get really punished by suddenly losing my auto attacks. Okay, nice. Looks like the arrow trade is already becoming a lot less effective, even without much of our help there. Ooh. Still able to massively chunk her out there. Not get too chunked out myself. We just want to keep this frozen. The closer we are to the turret, the less you also can actually do. Oh, we got a Drake at one point. Nice one. Realistically, given the fact that we're getting zoned, we should have been the ones to lose a Drake, not them. Alright, he's dead. Perfect. And already has to use ult to get out. She's just gonna ult out again, so I won't bother turning around for her. My bad. Okay, we're gonna be crashing this wave. Got our first point. First extra point, rather, in W now. Just in time to start shoving with. This might not even be as fast to crash as I would need. Yeah, I think I have to shove another wave here just because of how close to our side of the map that wave was. Yeah, this is not going to be a clean crash, so we need to shove another wave. If Yasuo is smart, he'll be zoning me. He's not really zoning me, he just paused the push. Let's see what he does now, though. Okay, 
Looks like I get away with this. You should have just... Ooh. You should have just been engaging on me. This should probably be... Okay, not quite a Kalinari, but at least a forced flash. Hopefully I can base now. Unfortunately, that did also waste a lot of time that I should have spent basing. Please don't blindly... Okay, nice. I was thinking she would throw an ability. We'll get a long sword since that'll eventually build into Novori. And we don't have coal, so... We're not gonna need the item slots. Yeah, I guess I would have probably missed out on this entire wave under threat anyway, so I don't mind her taking that. I don't know where Ari is. She might be in a brush strength to cheese. Looks like not. But we can't take any big risks until we know where she is. Oh. Jesus. Oh, hello, Hakram. I'm not gonna lie, though. The, those are ADRE fucking trades are really not bad. That is shockingly not a terrible pick. At least in terms of actually getting a lead in lane. Which will fall off hard enough that it probably will be a terrible pick, but... Definitely has good chances of winning lane. She did go for terrible trades in the early game, this mainly just because Zyra wouldn't punish that it looked so good. But that's less to do with the champion and more to do with uh, what the player did. Oop. Shit, I thought we were going to do more there. My bad. Okay. The one over for us. Just because I used the ult. Biggest mistake you can do is try and just keep forcing to try and get something done with the ult when your team isn't following up, so there's nothing to do. You should have windwalled that just to deny me the cannon. We're not in a position to be able to fight them anyway. Given my HP and the state of their wave. Shit, my bad. Close. Could do it basing, but... I think he also is based, actually. That's why Ari is just leaving. Should give me a window to shove then, for I base. Wow, okay, he didn't base, but he also wasn't in lane, so... I guess that's the same thing. This next wave is a cannon wave, so I can afford to go really far back to try and avoid having my recall cancelled here. And hopefully they won't shove this too fast. Can't wait for too much mana, though. Just gonna do another longsword. Hopefully I won't need... Whoever base in a crit cloak, hopefully my next base will just be Kraken Slayer. Hmm, that's not good. I'm not part of this fight, so... Okay, but the Zara will knock up. Oh, Zara! That was pointless. Oh, no. Even if she killed Diana, that was not worth it. Just because of the risk that she wouldn't, mainly. <clears throat> Oh, nice. That was a bit of a risk for me, actually. I can't really control whether my spell shield shields his E or his Q. Okay, he currently doesn't have one ball. But I don't have vision for him in the brush. This is really annoying. If he leaves the brush... Oh. Fuck. 
I thought he was leaving it. Yeah, okay, I think he's dead now. Ah, damn it, hang on. Ah, dude. I fucking failed at getting my Q to bounce back on him. I think it's because he flashed dead, so I guess that's just an outplay from him. More than a mistake from me, but... Uh... Yeah, this works. Ooh, I'm actually dead. My bad. I didn't need to play that in a way where I die. Could have been better. Oh well. Main thing, I did not need to get in his dash range. I was just trying to make sure I could actually land the Q because I needed the burst from Q to actually get that dive off. Yeah, that sucks. Probably also could have avoided letting him... Well, no, this is good, though, because he loses this fight straight up. But then that Q miss also was so bad. There was no reason for that. Uh, Okay, I can get Kraken Slayer. Got this little longsword, but no biggie. She should not have been shoving this wave, but now she has to finish it. She just cost me an entire wave, especially... Mainly the cannon, at least, especially. Caster and three... Sorry, three casters and the cannon should have been doable for me. And now she dies, because she stuck around to shove a wave. <laughs> Lovely. Hmm, getting an ult, but she's also not even remotely low. I don't know if I can pressure her here. Hmm. Dude, I've been trying to hit this way for ages. Jesus. She has not even lost HP. Yeah, she's very ahead at the moment, very strong. Especially with those hobbies. It makes it hard for me to do anything to her. Means I'm less likely to get one shot as well, but definitely makes it a lot harder to get any sort of favorable outcome besides not dying. We treat that as a success. <coughs> Fuck no. Spell shield of the. What about when I meant to spell shield for Q? Didn't even know you could spell shield that. I was going to be trying to make a play on us here as well. Melee, I'm just speeding up Garen so hopefully he can get her. Mm. Oop. Okay, nice. No, oh, fuck. My bad. I kept failing at clicking my ghost. Should have been able to kite that and block, uh, dodge the Q. My bad. <laughs> God damn it. The amount of things she had to use there to get that kill and also not just immediately die to Garen. I'll go top. We're gonna be giving up uh, Drake in the process probably, unless they can do it with Garen, but... Oh my lord. He did not have to die there. But at the same time, I don't expect us to win a Drake fight right now because of how much weaker I am than Yasuo. Despite, well, I was ahead, I guess, at one point, but I'm not anymore. I'm still too far behind in farm since we never have Pryo. But yeah, I'm just a little weaker than Yasuo right now, given the fact that I get removed from fights and he's just got more gold than me right now. So I'd rather avoid fighting and instead try and get this free objective. Might not be free now because now that my team has died, they their, their team can get the Drake and also send somebody after me. In fact, now they're actually just getting him free turrets with the Herald, which is really an ideal, but I can't defend it by myself anyway. I'd rather try and match their objectives, especially given the fact that we have objective bounties. Game is definitely in a tough spot right now, though. Oh, this guy's here. We need to leave. Yeah, usually Yasuo would just be on the Drake, right? But... Fuck, I might be dead now. Ooh, I'm very dead now. She has Bork. Fuck, that sucks. Yeah, ideally, like, uh, yeah, uh, I, at the very least, um, probably everybody should have been on Drake on their team, but because my entire team dies, they can just send as many people as they want after me. I was thinking that even just the one Yasuo would be it, but apparently they even sent Ari after me. I, like, I don't know if they're on the Drake yet, but I mean, at any moment they could take it, despite how many people they sent top to do with one person being top. They should be taking it, I don't know if they are or not. But yeah, I basically I got fucked over by my team dying, despite them dying on the opposite side of the map. Their team should not have been able to send so many people after me. 
I was also being really greedy, by the way, taking this path thing, trying to avoid Yasuo, but I was just hoping he wouldn't punish that. Because at the same time, it's kind of scary to walk through the jungle here. As it, and as it turns out, it would have eventually probably been cut out by Ori. I'm not sure. Mm, I think I'll shove one more wave. No, I, I need to be mid-fast, actually. They could push this really fast, given the fact that there's no turret here. There's also no wave to meet this wave, to pause it. Oh, can't defend this anyway. Yeah, sadly this might be the first loss. This is one of the few lanes we just didn't ha have any chance about playing, sadly. Not because of the RE level 1, that was really annoying, but... Uh, like, it is what it is, we can come back from that. The thing is, I just never have a chance to outplay Yasuo. I can't ever play aggressively against a pick like that, which means I can't ever get a lead. Unless they fucking just fail at turret diving us repeatedly or something. Now, it looks like the entire team is too far behind for me to carry, but I'll see what I can do. Maybe the enemy team throws hard, but so far that's not happening. They all they all have very few deaths. Also, gotta watch out for the Malfa Yasuo combo. Even Malfa or even ya uh, even Hecarim Yasuo combo is just a very easy knockup. If I don't spell the right thing, I'm gonna die. Quick brain dead combo. I can't really prevent. They might also be on Baron, and I don't see what we could do about it. Okay, thankfully they're not. At least not yet. I guess I'll go top where I'm more most needed for defending with my wave clear. Oh, um, I guess we can try. Yeah, I got one kill there. He's fucking catching me, Jesus Christ. Uh, that guy had E up. Thought he might not have something up given he just gap closed, but nope. That was already back up, my bad. Damn. I think we really should have had Zed rotate over at some point as well. Obviously, he couldn't be there from the start of the fight, but at some point he should have noticed how long that fight was dragging out. Anyway, as a whole, it wasn't too bad. I'm just at it. How did we not even get a shutdown from the Malphi, by the way? Like, regardless of him not being super fed, he, uh, he had very few deaths, and his team as a whole is incredibly ahead. I don't know how I didn't get a shutdown from that. But I think that was my only kill as well. Okay, I'll go for the mid farm, I guess. They're not going to keep on pushing, so I'm not needed to defend the lane right now. That league ran out the same idea. Oh, nice. Okay, nice. Now I'm alone farming this. Perfect. Once again, Navori, especially, these will be very easy to farm. Damn, she got the big one, didn't she? Hopefully I at least get the red buff. Don't need to be mid immediately since there's no turret to eat up the farm. I have a lot of time to get to mid before the wave dies. To anything. Might want to go mall fight here. No. All good. I just need at least a decent amount of this farm. Okay, I should have Navori now. It would have been really annoyed if she managed to get like the entire wave. To the point where I couldn't get Navori. Okay, this Navori will be really helpful for... Stalling out this game with Wave Clear. At a certain point, if we were to manage to stall out this game long enough, we might have a chance of winning. Like, at the moment, we stand zero chance. But we might be able to just stall it out until we do. Problem is... Whenever they get Baron, it's gonna make this game dramatically harder to stall out. And we can't do anything to prevent Baron at the moment. They just have, yep, far too easy a time rushing it, and if we try and move into position to contest, they easily engage and win. All we can do at the moment is just clear waves. She is taking a big risk being there as well. Yes, 
Thankfully, I am the best pick, probably, at just defending these waves. Okay, they're gonna get another Drake, but they're still far away from Soul. I got ult if I need to escape here. Nice one. I'm gonna use ult to match the Aureal. What? Ah, what did I fucking spell shield then? Oh, god damn it. How did I not spell shield the Ari E? It was literally right in front of me. This is what I was talking about uh, in one of the previous games. Ridiculously hard to spell shield Ari E in, sir. Like, so long as she times it right. Look at this. It's right about to hit me when I use spell shield, and my spell shield still blocks something else. It must have been her W, I assume? That's just, oh, that's just so sad, man. I should have ulted sooner though, but I don't know how much difference it makes if she flashes like that. I was thinking more along the lines of being able to escape from a fight. There. That was a pretty unlikely R engage, but nothing I could do about it, so it was a good one. We mainly want gold on me. My team would never consent to that, though. Okay, ball and inhib is down. Burn is already down, so there's no reason for me to be topside except, I guess, trying to defend top. If I see them pushing top, then I'll have to quit pushing bot and rotate, but... Otherwise, if they're just mid, I can at least shove up. Well, I guess I'm here. I guess I'm gonna have to just stop pushing after this anyway, because I don't want to be too overextended. You can't take the desert. Yeah. Okay, what are we going for? Probably gonna have to. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go for Lord Dominic here, sadly. I'm not gonna deal enough damage if I don't. Need it for the. Malphite and Hecram also has a decent amount of armor. They are far too overextended here. Zara just took burn for no reason. Oh yeah, we're also pretty much full AD, by the way. That's a big issue besides the Zara. At least we have some through Zara. It's better than nothing. <coughs> some AP, I mean. Oh, that's not good. He's back. Whoa. Mm. Okay, they have to really commit if they want to finish him off. Oh my god, nice one. I need to be really careful about Moffat ult, Hecram, ult, Hecram E. He also... Third Q. Diana ult. That was a clean fucking spell shield. I'm gonna pop a ghost so I can stay in this guy's range. We need to focus the also now. Perfect. Can I keep chasing this guy down? I have ghost and he doesn't. But he's gonna have E. There's no way I get him. Really. Nice try. Okay. Oh god, our base. Hmm, it's fine. I should have that. Hopefully, we get a turret here, which I think might be our first objective bounty of the game. God, this is so... If we could just tank this. I don't know if we have... No, oh, fuck's sake. No, never mind. Leave it then. We actually have no time to fucking get a wave to push this turret. That's so sad. Who TP'd, though? Malphite. I can escape Malphite if he decides to ult me. I think. Oh, this is a different issue, though. Okay. I'm so fucked now, actually. Unless... Oh my god. Does he kill him? <gasps> he misclicked! I don't know how they don't have shutdowns, though. Like, what? This doesn't... Even if he'd managed to kill him, it would have only been 300 gold? This is absurd. We never called him previously, did we? Okay, we got an 800 gold shutdown on Malphite before... Or on Yasuo, sorry, before, at least. Jesus. Okay. 
Okay, I got an inhib. I am the best champion for dealing with uh, super minions at least. They're gonna get sold, but I think this is also like the worst sold there is, so it's not too big a deal. The Baron is always the most annoying thing for them to get. And Elder will also be really bad if they get Elder, they kind of win the game. Guaranteed. I might be able to hold on through super minions with my Silver Wave Claire, but I can't really prevent them from diving us and one-shotting us with Elder. So we hopefully need to start winning fights before five minutes or six minutes from now. Okay, they're gonna do Baron. That gives me a window to try and clear this wave. Hopefully, maybe even get the turret. I've got ult again if I need to escape. They burst that down hard. And they need to escape. Okay. Hopefully, I escape here. Okay, thank god. Definitely a risk. Looks like it paid off though. Shame about Garen dying, but it also kind of bought time for the- like it distracted some other teams, so it was only Hecarim coming for me. Which is also why I even bothered sticking around for the turret. Need another Crit Cloak. I'll get the Zeal item here. I can't really do Bloodthirster because it's too expensive for how quickly I need a Power Spike. Ah, um, fuck. Damn it. What is Zyra doing, bro? Actually, with her there, we probably just win that. Imagine if she CC'd their team as Vi went in there. Yeah, she's just trolling. That's sad. Maybe stood a chance at winning a fight there with her. Oh, my Cricklock did Precious didn't even go through, by the way. God, that sucks. I don't think it made a difference, but... I would have had way bigger chance of trying to burst them down there. What did I even spell shoot, by the way? Oh, I think it was the ult. I just spell shooted the, shoot the knock-up. Okay, sad ending to a... Otherwise tense and enjoyable game. GG. Yo, the gamers, we are back for another game of Sivir the Diamond. Swain, you don't need to leash wolves. <laughs> So I'll just get started on pushing this alone. Anyway, we're gonna be playing Silver Swain into Jinx Leona. I meant to hit Leona there, my butt. Nice one. Don't really want to trade up front autos with Jinx. We mainly just want to indirectly hit her through the minion wave. Only hit her there because she really overextended trying to hit Swain. Nice one. So this is a pretty decent duel because as you can see, Swain landing that E. Again, just a free Q from me. I'm gonna chill with the Q right now though. When oh, She's just walking in a straight line, so I guess that's a free Q. Mainly we just want to play around the Swain E though. Or even the Swain W. If he slows that with that, it's also gonna to lead to a easy to land Q. My bad. And at the moment, since Jinx has such low HP, we just want to play the zoner. <laughs> Could also do with placing a ward, I'll do that now. They leashed, so Hecram should probably be just pathing top. Oh, my bad. This is bad. I need to flash, I think. Also pop ghost so I can actually turn again. But we need to disengage as Leona starts getting her cooldowns back up. We don't want to get her keep flashing us. Ooh, nice one. Now my E is up. Even if she turns on me, I would never die here. Alright, that's all we can do, though. My bad for using W. It's a waste of mana. Ooh. Oh my god, that was so close. Alright, we'll leave this wave. Ideally, we would have preferred to shove it, but I don't think we can risk it. Mainly, because, like, I don't really have too much mana to serve with anyway, so... Uh, it's gotta be fine. This is actually really good. I thought our wave would do more damage to the CS. It actually mostly just ignored it, though. That's really nice. <coughs> and now, because uh, our wave tanked up the turret for so long, and tanked up the mini wave, more importantly, 
our wave approaches over here, and the melees end up under turret, the melees get killed. Now you can see Jinx just missed out on an entire wave because of that wave state, whereas so far I've only missed one melee, I'll probably miss one or two more. But aside from that, it'll arrive to three casters, while Jinx missed out on that entire wave, and even missed out on another melee there. Nice. So if we get a super big lead, by the way, even though I was talking about in the previous game about the, how the three points of key would definitely be better to engage. Either way, if we're going to be zoning them a lot because we have a big lead, I'm just going to spell shit that. <laughs> get some free HP. Uh, we might as well just do the uh, two points in Q then max W. Because uh, if we're zoning them from the waves, I feel like just using W to harass is going to be more consistent. Whereas Q is better for some upfront damage in fights. I'm gonna use my W reset there just to make sure I actually get the lost hit. So once again, we're just going to be focused on zoning. Jinx has very little capability to lost hit right now. If you wanted to use her W to lost hit one of these, I would just block that with my spell shield. My bad, that should have been a free hit. That's the Katarina. Oh my god, that hit. Ah, uh, but I just spell shit it. Oh, that fucking sucks. That really sucks. What the hell? I spell shit with the Katarina E instead of actually spell shitting the Katarina or the Leona Q. I also didn't think her E would even land on me, the Leona E. That sucks. We'll get Noom Cover for now. Yeah, I'm still gonna do the Q. Uh, sorry, the W Max early. Also, my bad, I just straight up did not notice uh, the pings about Katarina. I was focused on going for that trade on server. That is an absurdly long Leone, what the hell? Maybe it's just the angle from my camera, but Jesus. That looked way wrong. I can ghost on Jinx. Spell shooting her traps also gives me some movement speed that she's done with. There we go. Never stayed way too hard there. Mainly she just failed at shoving the wave. I don't know what she did wrong, because I wasn't looking, but Jinx should definitely have the capability to shove that in at the time that I was dead. So she must have not been pushing as fast as she could have. Then once she'd fucked up, obviously, like she couldn't really stick around to try and shove in that second wave as much as it sucked. Okay, we're gonna have to back off here. I think Karina might be on the way again. Yeah, you can tell from Leona's positioning as well that de definitely somebody is around. And because Katarina's missing, it's probably Katarina. Yeah, there she is. Um, I would place a ward to check if they have a pink and clear that, but I can't really risk that right now. Because yeah, Hecarim turned out to be there, and if they do turn out to have a pink and they just start moving towards me, I also have to give that up. We'll just position for a Q. Three double hits since she is slowed. Yeah, if I place my ward, find a pink, and start clearing it, and they just go, oh, let's zone her. Then there's just, I have to back off there, right? And then I just lose a trinket without clearing the pink, and then I have to use my second uh, trinket for clearing that pink. So instead, if there is a pink in that brush, we don't even know if there is, but there, if there is, what we have to do is wait until we have a better chance, like until Katarina's gone at the very least. And preferably also know where Hecarim is. And know that he's not coming bot side. Because Yorick is here, I guess I'm safe to farm. I want to start dealing damage to Leona. Oh god, wait. Oh man. Wait. Ooh, Katarina kind of just dashed away. Can't really punish though. Akram is still here as well. 
But this has been like a minute and a half straight of being unable to pressure the enemy bot lane because we're getting ganked, by the way. Nice one. That was actually really lucky. We've just been more patient with the Z. Because he could already see my spell shield. He could see that I was going to block it. Oh. Let's get a go for him when we know Hecarim is still in the lane. Ah, I shouldn't have done this. My bad. Is there a chance to kill her? Okay, this could be a kill though, actually. This actually turned out pretty positively. Nice one. We don't know where Katarina is, by the way. I'm going to start running. Even though I'd love to get that plating. Like, she's already shown a huge willingness to just completely camp the fuck out of us and ignore her own lane, right? So even though she's got a wave crashing here, she could easily just be roaming on us. We'll go for Berserkers now, since we can afford it. Still never had a chance to place that trinket to clear out that potential pink ward, by the way. <laughs> just want to point that out. Literally, the entire time, there's been somebody around. We know there's somebody around who could actually zone us off of the pink ward. We literally needed to have Katarina mid lane, nice and obvious, so we know she's there. And we also needed to see Hecarim leave or be in some other lane, you know? Neither of those ever happened. Do I have time to rotate here past the mini wave? I do. Nice. It was a little bit risky, but as long as Zona, uh, Leona didn't look like she was trying to get into position to engage on me, then I could be relatively confident that we weren't getting ganked since we didn't know where Hecarim was. Mm. Oh my lord. I probably fucked her. Yeah, sadly, because the Jinx W hitting me. That was unexpected. She fucking flanked us from behind, didn't she? Damn, I was thinking that... Uh, it's obviously better to hit Jinx there than... <laughs> Fucking hell, that was really unexpected. So I was trying to hit Jinx here, because uh, there's no chance I kill Leona before they kill Swain, right? So in order to actually win that fight for us, I need to be hitting Jinx. Which I can only do once Leona's already committed all of her cooldowns onto Swain, to be sure that it won't backfire on me and then I'll just die. But it, but it also backfired really hard, even once I had waited for all the Leona cooldowns, because this wasn't accounting for the Katarina flank. So I should have been completely fine there if I just played this the way most people normally would, which is just hitting the Leona and being okay with them killing Swain. But instead what happened is that I'm really overextended trying to hit Jinx, which is fine if we can win the 2v2. But it turned out... To, oh, well, I thought that would have missed him. But it turned out that it wasn't a 2v2. We were getting fucking ganked from behind, which meant that was overextended and had higher chances of dying for a very little game. No reason at all. Alright, we cancel the Leona base there. Jinx has a lot of gold to spend now, so I'd rather try and avoid letting him have a good base. I'm, I actually wish I got hit by that. Okay, not bad. Yeah, Jinx has a lot of gold to spend. I'd rather not let her actually spend it. We have Yorick backing me up here. I can't try and cancel the base right now, or at least. Can't take much risk to do it. All I could do is throw a Q. Looks like she's under turret anyway. And she just had her base cancelled again. So she's wasting a huge amount of time here. Where she can't really play aggressively in this lane until she bases. And if she can't play aggressively, she's going to get zoned a lot from farm. So we just waste a lot of time. She's guaranteed to miss at least one wave because of me cancelling her base there. Or, well, us cancelling her base there. First time by... Like, first thing I did was just start fighting her. For no reason. Well, not for no reason, but just... Purely to give her something to fight instead of focusing on finishing shoving the wave. It didn't even look like that good a trade at the start, right? But it delays her basing for a super long time, which enables then her team to then start. Uh, my team, sorry, to then start cancelling her base as well. Like, because I zoned her, or not zoned her, but forced her to fight me for so long there. Oh, we're getting ganked by more than just Leona for sure. This man actually just recalling, holy crap. Alright, hopefully you get the gist of that explanation, because I'm not finishing that. Oh, for fuck's sake. Wait, why am I walking forwards? Ah, uh, I might be dead here. My bad, I don't know what the fuck happened there. Yeah, I'm so fucked. Why the- I swore I was walking forwards there. But I didn't mean to. And I definitely should have been fo more focused on walking backwards. Like, this Katarina is just fucking psychopath. Like, she doesn't have a chance of killing me, but she still tries to anyway. Yeah, why am I walking forwards there? 
I'm not clicking anything. Wait, I clicked forwards, backs, and god damn it. That was definitely an accident. I didn't mean to do that. Fuck. She might not have been able to get in my range for a Q if she if I hadn't done that. Yeah, she's an actual fucking psychopath. She's out of my range and she just walks into me anyway. <coughs> Mmm, we can go... Mid? No, we'll just go do Drake, actually. Nah, they're gonna get Drake. I'll just push mid. It's faster to get to mid than to bot. And this mid lane threat is a lot more likely to go down. I really should go bot, though. Please go bot. No point in having us both farm mid and both share the mid lane threat gold. Nice one. Can't risk going for that, uh, the rest of that farm, but I can go for the raptors if they're up. Oh, hello. Well, it's not completely risk-free. <laughs> Potentially, that could have been somebody who could kill me. Especially if Hecker himself could kill me if I had the right cooldowns, but... Could have probably just based, I guess. I already had enough for Mythic. But... I can't really shove this. I, I'm not gonna hit this wave at all. Because if I start shoving it with my W and then Karina comes and zones me, then my wave is gonna kill the rest of their wave and I'm gonna miss a lot of lost hits. Can't believe this Katarina is so close to me in farm as well. And that's just purely because I've died so much or been zoned so much from farm because of the Katarina ganks. She's forcing me to be as behind as she is in farm, basically. Can't do too much there. That blows. It's gonna take zero damage. She's building really tanky. Come on, I'm so fucked here. Okay, maybe not. Could have been a better Q. All good. Holy shit, man. Son is on the way as the thing. He is. I can't help. Well, I can throw Qs at him. Oh my god, that CC duration. He's so fast, he's fucking ghosting. Whoa, I was not predicting that. That was super close. I swear to god, my camera angle was so bad for seeing that early as well. That was so fucking tight. Hmm. Let's get Crick Cloak. I don't know for sure, but I feel like it's probably going to be better for my W than the long sword is. Please. Oh, oh, okay, at least she got it. Thank God. Ah, oh, this is such a bad game state, though. Karina keeps getting more and more kills. And she's going to be super tanky. Hard to, hard to kill as well. At least that means she's not going to one-shot, though. Not quite as hard as she could, at least. What? What? I can't move. Oh, the fucking sound corpse is blocking my clicks. It's a weird bug. Happens with Kogma as well. Any champion who doesn't just immediately die when they die, you know? That bug exists for them. Nice. Because he hope should go bot. Nice one. You can't I can base for a pickaxe now. Gonna need to be Lord Dominic's third, by the way, this game, no, no matter what. <laughs> the only thing that could actually reach me there, I knew for a fact, was Leon ult. I was hoping to bait out the ultimate. The problem with Spulsher and the Leona E, by the way, is that it doesn't actually prevent her from uh, getting dashed onto you. All it does is is uh... Oh my god, what is that damage? Jesus Christ! Ah, I missed. Oh god, she might live- Oh, she lived because I missed. Oh, that's so sad. This is fucking absurd. There's not much I can do to prevent her 1v9ing at the moment. 
So you can just easily engage like that and win. But yeah, if you spell shield the Leona E, it doesn't actually prevent it from dashing to you. It, all it does is prevent the root. And as a result of that, uh, when she when you spell shield the E, it brings her towards you, and then she can just fucking stun you with the Q. So it's it's uh, like lose lose scenario. Because if you get, um, if you let yourself get hit by the E, you're gonna get rooted. So that's a guaranteed one CC. If you root, if you spell shield the, uh, wait, yeah, if you spell shield the E, then you do avoid the root, but you're pretty much guaranteed to get hit by the Q as well. So you're always gonna get CC no matter what. <clears throat> really. <laughs> I'm going for wolves right now because there's nothing better for me to farm, but he might steal that as well. All I'm waiting for right now is for middle and whiff to be farmable. Or I can rotate top, I guess. Anyway, I wasn't expecting Katarina to, to, to go tanky, but at least it's going to give me more value on the cut down. My team needs to not fight. This is so troll. Oh, hello. I knew she was going to be there, I could have tried to run her down and kill her. Um, I think I need to- oh yeah, I need to defend mid, I only just noticed they have a herald there. She has no E right now. Eh, doesn't matter, still guess that. <clears throat> yeah, I think we're playing a pretty bad pick for dealing with this Katarina as well, sadly. Because... Ideally, we want something that, at the very least, outranges her ultimate. If, uh... We're going to be auto-attacking her while she's AoEing our teammates. But I can't even avoid her damage while she's focusing my teammates. My auto-attack range literally puts me within her ultimate range. Even if I'm not the person she wants to focus. Which makes it extremely hard to punish at literally anything she tries to do. Taking a big risk here, but let's just walk up to the side and see what happens. Oh, I shouldn't have got spell by that. Or slowed by that, sorry. Ah, oh my god, I need to ghost away here. And ult. I spell shot that because I wasn't sure if that was going to hit me or not. In theory, he could hit this thing and that might slow me or knock me up. I'll stick around though. There's no point in me basing until I go Navori. Got it. Yeah, I needed to avoid the spell shot there. That was a bit troll. Okay, at least this time we got Lethal Tempo. I actually can sort of outrange her there. Still, can't even focus her. We had to finish off Sion. Did, did she get a kill? Yeah, she killed Aurelia. Okay. Fuck, we missed the cannon. Mmm. Ooh, this Katarina's so low now. I don't know if this is smart, but we'll try. Just need to be ready to focus Hakram again if he tries to rejoin. Looks like he won't, though. Shame we couldn't kill Hakram. This Jinx has to be trolling with the split push, by the way, right? When was the last time she was in a fight? She'll probably get away with this, but... She's potentially losing her team fights by not participating in them. She might go for golems now. Ah, oh, they're already gone. Okay. Oop. Okay. She's gonna get away. I'm just gonna base. I could go mid and get some farm right now, but... It, it'll take me a long time to just to get to mid lane, when I could may as well just spend this time recalling and... getting my... Navori. So I can be ready to... Try and carry any fights that happen in the meantime. I'm gonna need to rush Lost Whisper here. 
At some point, we may also want to do... Uh, Hex Drinker. Karina's going pretty a pretty mixed damage build, but still, like, through her abilities, all of the damage is magic, and there's also a center magic damage, so... There will be a lot of magic damage, whether she likes it or not. <clears throat> I don't think I'll bother, though, with this build that she's going. She's not too bursty. But this should be fine. They're gonna have general survivability. Good. That kid didn't hit anything. I can't auto through here. I'm so fucked, aren't I? Unless. Oh, did, no, did nobody have CC? Did I really not have V or anything? Well, Cassiope had ult. But it might work out better for her to at least use that on Hecram. I still don't see how... I mean, she probably had W though, at the very least, and I don't see how... Or really didn't have stun either. There's just simply no way I should have been chased down that easily. Should have cost them a lot more if they wanted to kill me. Did get Crick Look, but I think I need to prioritize the... Lost Fist Pro actually deal damage. Their team is really, really tanky. Might even have to go for that Bork build I mentioned, actually. But probably not. We'll see. I think I'd rather go for a ZL item fourth and then maybe Bork final item if there's time for that. I'd like to get this right if possible. Jesus Christ. He has no interest in winning this game, does he? Oh, they are getting the worst Drakes for their comp to have as well. Actually, just... They're gonna have minimum three mountains if they get soul, and they already have two mountains. That's the Drake I would least want to see their comp getting, considering they're already too tanky for me. The hardest things to outplay in League are just is just tankiness. You can't outplay them just simply tanking all of your damage and surviving. Okay, nice to block that for Swain. Ooh. Nice one. Good shit. I'm dead there no matter what. Let's burn some cooldowns. So hopefully they can get him now. So in AFK. Okay, that should be a kill. Come on. Nice one. Where the hell is Katarina this whole time? That's really nice. I don't think they can do Baron though. I think Katarina will clean them up. But was alive besides Katarina? Scion. Yeah, and that's a really good engage. So I think it would be a bit of a throw now. And to try and do Baron. But I think getting this turret is fine. Even if Cassiopeia were to die for this, that should be worth it. She's not gonna get it though. Just focused on trying to kill Scion, which is a waste. Hopefully he lives. He's ghosting, so he might. Oh. Okay, at least he forced a flash. That's really good. <coughs> it's a shame that I don't have enough for Crick Cloak, but I don't want to sell Darren's Blade yet either. I think Lethality York is for challengers. I'm actually gonna get all that, so I'm gonna go for a blue buff. Oh, actually no, I can't. They might do Baron. Leona just reminded me of that by appearing topside. At least we know they're not on it yet. I'm not even in position to start it. Could be good. Ah, oh, no, it's a disaster, actually. Won't even bother ulting. Nobody's gonna escape besides me. That was fine if it was actually a pick, but it was immediately just a 5v5. Sad I didn't get the cannon. Was there a hacker coming after me as well, or was that just Jinx? I'm gonna try and get Jinx. Oh my god, I actually lose this, don't I? Oh, so close. If I'd, if I'd hit the first Q, that might have been a win. My bad. 
it's actually not even that behind anymore. We got a lot of gold from uh, some of those team fight wins and also pushing the turrets while her team won fights without her. That was a bad Q miss. I wonder if she, there's a small possibility she might actually be scripting though. The moment it cost Q as well, she immediately switched direction. It was probably maybe too close range for her to even dodge, but that was immediate. And she also did a really weird juke to avoid my second Q. She does not need script to win this game considering how hard she's getting carried, but doesn't mean she isn't. Yeah, like this. I'll keep throwing cues at her. I want to test her. Did feel weird how quickly she turned on me as well. Oh, my bad. I'm my bad now. Fucking hell. Wait. <gasps> okay. Yeah, I feel like she's scripting. We're not going to have enough time to actually really prove it. But I can just tell. She was not this mechanically clean before. Oh, she just got hit by that one at least. God, I have to thank her for ages just for her to die to the Nexus turret. Oh well, GG. Alright gamers, we are back for another game of Silver to Diamond. Currently on a two game loss streak. Hopefully this game should pull us back right on track. Gonna be playing several Lux. Once again, a classic. Into Zeriyumi. Probably an even better bot lane, but at least it's gonna be really weak in the early game, which hopefully we can abuse. <clears throat> Starting W. Again. Because I find it fun to just harass them with W through the minions. There we go. So it doesn't do too much damage as you can see, but part of the reason why it doesn't do more damage is it just zones them from the wave. Which is also a positive outcome. We just have com complete control of the wave if every time I press W they have to walk away to avoid damage. Probably should have used my Q while Zero was slowed there actually, but... Nice. Probably didn't need to use this W, actually. I don't really care about crashing with so much as I do about just zoning and harassing. Nope. I don't know how I missed that cannon. Ah, right, as you me use the spell shield. Not bad. Okay, that's really good. Just gonna back off while I'm exhausted anyway. Um. That's not amazing though. Oh, we still got her! And we can get Yumi now too, I think. We wait for the spell shield to run out here. Ah, she leveled up too. She's dead eventually. We just try and avoid the turret aggro as much as we can. Oh, she's gonna have to spell shield up. Ah, I should have spell shield that. My bad. Oh my god, that was disgustingly close. I'll kill the give the kill to Yumi here. Better than to listen. She might give a shot down, but it will. Uh, don't need the Berserkers immediately, so I'm just gonna go for this. AD is better this early. I know, bud. Uh, what was my big mistake there? I definitely made something. Hmm. I can't remember what it was, but I was kicking myself in the ass for something. Oh, yeah. I definitely needed to spell shield that, and then I could just walk out of the turret range again, wait for the spell shield to run out, then try and burst her down. Getting hit by that uh, Q is the reason why I looked so close. 
when it didn't have to be so close. The, the outcome in the end would have been the same overall anyway. Except that, I don't know, maybe I didn't have to use Flash. But, uh... Yeah, overall not too big a deal, but I could have played it better. And we want to play it better for next time in case, then it does make a difference. Yeah, a lot of these last hits I would not be getting if I went Dagger. Don't know why Lux is mid, but... Oh, my bad. Used to the old Yumi kill. I'm starting to put a point in W. We'll just keep on testing this. Okay, we got a pretty big CS lead over Zarya. That's nice. It's going to be pretty hard to kill her, but at least she's not got cleanse. So if Lux ever does hit a Q, especially after level 6, it's going to be pretty decent chances of probably not killing her because of how tanky the Yumi makes her, but I wish it doesn't get her. <coughs> but we should at least massively chunk her out. I want to punish this while Zarya is forced to run into the Luxy. Disengage now that she has the shield because we don't win that trade. Or, I mean, we do win the trade overall, but once the shield is up, it's just like pumping damage into her. That's not gonna do anything while she is doing damage to us, so that's the point where we want to disengage. Okay, we're running low on mana, so I'm only going to use my Q now if we land either a Lux Q, or maybe even a Lux E if I'm really confident. But hopefully a Lux Q makes my Q really easy to land. Okay, that was pretty decent as well. Horses are completely away from the wave if she wants to dodge the second Q, and the first Q is guaranteed because of the slow. Oh, my bad. Ow, god. Jesus. Okay, I'm just gonna shove this in base. Starting to get low HP, and we don't know where Lisa is, I don't think. Alright, let's base. Don't know if I really needed the ghost, but in theory, like, it, uh... Would make it so even if they did try and capitalize on that to try and kill me, if they, in case they had the burst, then I could at least just keep on escaping. Whereas if I waited to see if they would go on me, it might just allow them to land their burst before I run away. This is actually more AD. We'll be better harassed with our W. And Q. <coughs> yes, yeah, so we're not really killing them too much at the moment, but we are at least getting a huge CS lead by constantly shoving them under turret. Close one. I'll just shove this as hard as I can, get a lot of solo XP. Nice one. I'll also play some vision. No point sitting on two trinkets, especially because I can't really pressure them 1v2 right now. So place that. Place this, or use this, get rid of this. And also maybe do this Scuttle Crab by myself. 
If I get this last hit, then it's really worth it, because I'll get 100 gold from this. Any melees that I miss on bot lane will be worth it. I say melees, any minis in general that I miss. Would only not be worth it if I miss a cannon. So far I've only missed one melee, so I've lost like 23 gold or something like that. Yeah, I missed 23 gold for getting 99 gold from the Skittle Crab. Extremely worth it. <clears throat> Hello, Leeson. What is he doing here? <laughs> Nice, even with how far away I was, the Lux Q was still a free double Q hit for me on Lee Sin. That, the, that spell shot was delayed. That was weird. Hopefully it went off in time, but that was weird. I felt really delayed. So she's running down the corner, it doesn't leave her much room to maneuver to dodge, so... I don't want to trade too heavily here. Because I don't think I even win up front trades with this area, but we can distract her from the CS a little bit. And we mostly traded evenly, so that was really good. Or actually, we sort of won the trade. Uh, we, at least when you count the Lux damage afterwards. Nice. Don't want to trade while she has the spell shield up. Didn't notice the wave was gone, my bad. Fuck, didn't mean to get hit by that. Just trying to get one last W hit on the minion wave before my W run out. Need to place my vision again, at least a word here. Ooh, that could be a kill. So close, so close. Oh, Lux, Lux, you wanna disengage there? Oh my lord, that is bad. Fuck, I should have ghost. Uh, I should have spell shielded the Yumi Q. Now I'm dead. Or am I? Okay, nice. I just barely left. Huge disaster, though. Huge. We were at such a huge advantage there, then she dies for no reason. And Ziri got a lot of healing there from the Yumi ult, which could have been completely avoided if Lux had not flashed in. With Lux flashing in, it just gives Yumi ult so many free waves to heal Ziri with when she should not have been that high HP. She should have been low enough that if I just wanted to auto attack her for the kill, I should have been able to, but. Not with the amount of healing she ended up getting. You can't tame the desert. That's why I have to flash away instead of just waiting out the Yumi ult and flashing in. Pretty bad Q to be fair, I shouldn't have bothered with that. She was so far away there was very little chance of actually hitting her anyway. Okay, thankfully I actually get a chance to catch on my coal here. Assuming I don't get ganked by Listen, but I don't think we are. Okay, that planning would take forever to get down, so I'm not gonna bother. Oh, they're staying. Uh, whatever, I'm 1v2 at the moment anyway. And I've already got Kraken Slayer. I do wonder about uh, the possibility of just doing Phantom Dancer second on server though. It was like um, both Navori and also the up uh, the strength of Silver W have been nerfed hard enough that maybe it's just better to go for that quick Pyro Spike rather than going for the Navori. Hmm. Actually, I might test it this game. I should have gone Dagger if I'm doing that, but whatever. Oh, actually. Do I get the turn here? No, I need to run away. I think I'm dead here anyway. We'll see. <laughs> we juke as much of the Zerik as we can, but yeah, I'm dead in the end. As soon as I get slowed by the Yumi Q. My bad. I did not think about them getting into lane there. Since I'm still 1v2. Is that a shutdown as well? Oh, so bad. 500 gold shutdown to Zeri.
Nice one. I'll wait for Quick Cloak, I guess. I only need 15 gold. I'm gonna miss all this farm anyway. Honestly, I probably played that escape badly as well. What I should have done was wait for them to try and E onto me and then just instead of sprint trying to get into my turret, just running through here. Because they would almost certainly just overkill their E, expecting me to run, try and run to turret. If I take advantage of that and just run past them over here, I probably get to escape in the long run. Because all I need to do is avoid getting a new Miki range or a Zeri auto attack range. Mainly Zeri auto attack range, really. If she can't refresh her ultimate on me, then she can't chase me down with it. I was in Zeri ultimate range the entire time, or Zeri key range the entire time, which is what kept her movement speed permanently up and made that chase impossible to run away from. At least Zeri is, or is, sorry, Zeri is down 60 CS. It's really good, but she should also not have a kill lead. Hmm. Careful. Oh, hello, Riven. I need to run. I need to run. Oh my god. I'm so fucked again, just the exact same way. God damn it. Okay, at least it goes to Leeson instead of Zeri. That's not bad, but we have massively thrown our lead. All started with that Lux just throwing that dive terribly. I mean, the dive was just never a good idea, right? The thing. I've also not been playing perfectly, but basically every situation that led to deaths, the only reason it could lead to deaths was Lux's fault, right? Then, uh, I maybe just didn't, like, minimize my deaths properly, but... That's kind of sucky to think about when we should have been winning this lane, not just preventing deaths against the superior scaling bot lane. Hmm, <coughs> I'll go for Raptors. Okay, so we're gonna have less W uptime going Phantom Nets a second until we finish the Vori, but within our... W cast, the W is going to be a lot more effective since we have so much attack speed from the Phantom Dancer. The extra ability damage from the Void does not compensate for that. Do I actually just get a free turret here? Might need to run away from Salas, but... Oh, nice. He could have just waited a little bit longer. Fuck, I'm gonna die now, though, for sure. Oh, wow. He actually hit his Yanmi in the middle of that wave. I might have I might have been able to outplay that if that didn't happen. Just needed to stare around in the mid-wave so he couldn't land the Z. And that was a huge mistake from him as well. He could have easily just waited for my spell shield to time out. So that he just barely didn't time it, right? That is cr- How does that go through two minions onto me? What? That is crazy. Oh well. But at that point he had no more gap closes left, right? He didn't have W up anymore. Uh, no, it's not worth it. Can't get that yet. He didn't have W up anymore. He would have just wasted a Z. At that point, I can burst him down a little bit more with my Q and my W, I think, was also coming up. And then if at any point I'm actually at risk of uh, dying just to his uh, auto attacks or his Q, I can just flash away. And he has no way to close that gap again. So it might have been a kill unless maybe he had flash. Maybe with flash he could kill me. But otherwise, if he didn't have flash, I'm sure I could have outplayed that. Not. This W just barely hitting me there. This guy is tanky. Why does he have Thornmill second out of on Lee Sin? There we go. <laughs> Keep track of the fact that he's got a ward there that he can get close onto us at any point with. So fucking hard to kill him, dude. Like, he's messed up so many times already, but... 
The punish is so small because of how tanky he is. That's why I say it's hard to outplay tankiness. Said that in the previous game. If this was a full damage Lee Sin, he would have fucked up his combo once and died. Instead, he can fuck up the combo three times and still live. Not the combo, but like the engage. I think I'm gonna check their Raptors and Red Buff. Raptors are up. Okay, and we can- we'll use the blue trinket to ch confirm that red is up, because otherwise I want to pop towards top and just kill that Silas. Uh, and apparently he just got a gank from Ribbon. Didn't expect that. But since nothing here is guaranteed, I would rather just get, go for the red buff if it's up, since that is guaranteed gold and a guaranteed buff. I don't know if I can blast him in there, blindly. This should be a free kill on Silas, though. Nice one. Uh, I need to get away from Zeri. Or do I? Hmm. Gonna engage. I'll use Ghost. Try to make sure we're following this up. Perfect. Nice. We should be able to get that Drake for free at the very least, but... It's also overkill for all of us to get the Drake, which is why I'm pushing. I got Ghost if I need to escape from anybody. Okay, Nunu probably can just take care of this by himself anyway, so... Thing is, we don't know where Leeson is. Hopefully he's not somehow gonna pull off a steal there. Okay, he's flanking us. I was ready to spell shit as ult if it was gonna knock me up. Oh, my bad. Nice. We're playing with fire here, but... It's well worth it. I, I'm pretty confident I can survive anything. If they throw anything expected at me, I've got flash to escape. And we get the Drake and we win a fight. Perfect. That was actually pretty smart. Like, that was like the best possible thing we could do, I think. Having one person do Drake, or maybe even two, would have been safer, but... Having most of us at least push mid. Because we do not need... Like, it takes... If Potentially we can get either kills mid or a turret, right? But it takes more people to get the turret than it does to get the Drake. If nobody's contesting the Drake, right? Which we gambled. We were gambling on that, but we got it right. Oh, this is risky, but they might pull it off. Because this is... Partially risky because it's so bad, but because it's so bad, it's also unexpected for the enemies. Which might make it a really good cheese move. If they can pull it off. I don't think the enemies are going to contest, honestly. I don't think they're going to check. Yep, they got it for free. Awesome. Nicely done. Because <clears throat> Zara's done a terrible job of keeping her farm up. <laughs> nice. Come on. I'm so sad I didn't get Zeri as well. Maybe I can still get her? Yeah, I should be able to. Please. There we go. God bless. What did- what the f fuck? <laughs> what the hell? I wanted to make sure I flashed that Zeri- uh, sorry, the Yumi Q because if it hits me, it's gonna heal the Zeri. Even if I block it, I might still heal her, I'm not sure. Like, block it with my spell shield. I needed Zeri to be as low as possible there, so I could flash auto. Reset is what I wanted to do, but... Obviously, I had to use my flash for a different purpose, so we just had to chase her down. We'll get golems and push this. Don't think there's anybody gonna be coming for me right now, at least. Okay, I need to leave. I've got Ghost if I really need it. Honor is 
Can now can go for either Bloodthirst or Lord Dominix. Probably Bloodthirst will be good, despite Lee Sin being so tanky with the Thornmill. Like, his tankiness doesn't matter too much. He's not too big an issue. I'll be able to kill him in a timely manner anyway, just maybe not 1v1 him as many times as I would like. Survivability will be more important, I think, since my damage is perfectly fine for the rest of their comp. If the rest of their comp was as tanky as Lee Sin, then I would do Lord Dominix. Nice one. Oh my lord, nice one, Lux. There's no way she cancelled her base. I think actually if I... <laughs> I was thinking about it, but I thought it was too troll to do, but... I think if technically if I'd ulted and ghosted the moment I saw her recalling and started running there, I might have been able to cancel her Q, her recall in time with my Q. Which might have led to a kill, but it was just too unlikely to actually bother doing. It would have been funny if I did it and it led to a kill, though. I think we can go for wolves here. It's a little bit risky, though. Okay, nice. And yeah, now we have vision of that Aeris, and it's, it's no longer risky. The only risk of taking those wolves is that we get engaged on by somebody jumping through this wall. Besides that, it's just free farm. I'm denying it from the enemies. Yeah, so the I'm really liking this build. I'm gonna keep on testing it, just doing the classic Phantom Dancer second. It's definitely just a much quicker power spike. Both second both quicker second item power spike and quicker three item power spike. The disadvantage is that at three items, it's not gonna be as strong as doing like Navorian to Bloodthirster. But at least you're gonna be able to impact the game more before then, I feel like. To, where hopefully it should hopefully I feel like um I value it. The Phantom, Phantom Nancer 3rd even might just be better than Blood Fist 3rd as well. I'm not sure because the attack speed is actually really nice on Sivir. For getting more W hits and also for getting more cooldown reduction on your W as well. It's another big thing. This feels like a first time Leeson, by the way. Wait, I should have popped Ghost. They're gonna jump through this wall this morning. That's why I should have popped Ghost sooner, so I have much more uptime to keep on chasing them down now. Ah, uh, they're just gonna run over there anyway, pussies. Ooh, Banuno's tanking. Or... Yeah, yes, perfect. Ah, oh, bastards. <laughs> Alright, GG.